Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Machine Girl, From Contract Schoolgirl to the Strongest Commander. Chapter 61. The rewards from this battle were not bad. It also gave Lin Feng a lot of pressure and exposed some small problems. Lin Feng opened the system and prepared to upgrade everyone. Battle Result Statistics. Hunting Status. Servant Level 208. Soldier Level, 25. General Level 4. Energy Crystals. Servant 416 remaining, 2426, Soldier 50, 52, Warlord 8 total, 38. Points, 8660 total, 50,060. Soul Power, 8660 total, 40,660. Soul Devourer's points had reached 40,000. Lin Feng directly upgraded to level 3. The next level required 80,000 Soul Power. Soul Devourer Spiritual Bestowment Effect. Feedback. Commander and Warlord's core attributes will be increased by 10% with each evolution. A total of 30% of their attributes had been fed back. Then, he spent 12 Warlord Crystals to upgrade Red Fury's Heaven Raising Slash by 2 levels. Damage increased by 20%, attack range and distance increased by 20%. Next was the Storm Mech's Firepower. Lin Feng was still brooding over the fact that the beam cannon did not finish off the opponent in one shot today. Lin Feng used 1000 servant crystals to upgrade the beam cannon to level 2, increasing its firepower by 10%. Then, he spent 14 warlord crystals to upgrade the storm goddess fury by 3 levels. Damage increased by 30%, attack range and distance increased by 30%. Next was the phantom mech. Lin Feng had always wanted to make wings for the Phantom Mech. However, Lin Feng asked Su Yunpeng and Jian Wei, but they had never heard of mech wings. Later, Lin Feng found out that there were no mech wings in the Chaos Star region. The system's wings came from Etha, Gundam, Expedition, War Soul, and other civilizations. However, an S-grade component in the system store required 250,000 points. The reward for upgrading the contract was a S-grade dual circuit fission reactor asterisk 2. Lin Feng had not found any use for it yet. At least for now, the machine lady in this world could not use it. Perhaps it was prepared for other worlds. Lin Feng opened the new function of the system upgrade, the lottery function. Supreme lottery pool. 50,000 points. You can obtain S-grade and A-grade components. The probability of obtaining S-grade components is 1%. Luxurious Lottery Pool. 10,000 points. You can obtain A-grade or B-grade components. Supreme. A-grade components are 50,000 points. It doesn't seem like a loss, but the reward is random. I can't choose. Quote. Just right. Lin Feng immediately clicked, confirm. All the components began to jump rapidly. Lin Feng was dazzled, and the scene finally froze. Lin Feng's face lit up when he saw its appearance. Wings of the War God, S, suitable for medium to small sized mech armors. The Silver Emperor is the spirit. After equipping, the mech will have the ability to fly, and its speed will be based on the mech's maximum speed. It has extendable paddles and can be used in both machine and battle armor states. It has 300 miniature wind god engines inside and can perform perfect operation. After loading, the weight increases by 2t. When in use, it consumes 3 mega joules per hour per second. Spiritual Bestowment Effect, Heart of the Battle Soul, can increase the Battle Maiden's attack power according to the current maximum speed of the mecha. War Spirit World, War God Divination, Good Luck. Taking a gamble, the motorcycle flew into the sky. Lin Feng did not hesitate. The Spiritual Endowment and the Warp Engine were simply a golden pair. As the upper limit of the warp drive continued to increase, the firepower of the phantom mech would also continue to increase. After that, the enemy planes in the sky might become blind. Everyone leveled up. Lin Feng tested it out. The effect was great. With today's experience of fighting against large mechs, coupled with the improvement, the next time he encountered a situation like today. Lin Feng was confident that all of them would stay. Everyone returned to Xingyao Manor. With the addition of two new members, the villa became much livelier. Especially with the addition of the Sunere Shui Feng. The few of them could be considered to get along, so Lin Feng did not have to worry too much. After eating and washing up, Lin Feng was ready to go out. 
After all, he could not disappoint a beautiful woman. I have something to do tonight, so I'll go out for a while. You don't have to wait for me. Shui Feng was a little curious and wanted to go out to play. However, Su Qingyan was very sensible and stopped her. This was because she was present when Lin Feng and Yin Xin agreed to meet. If you want to play, Sister Jian Wei can give you some tutoring first. You're not suitable to play such a high-level game yet. Jian Wei smiled and did not say anything. She only pulled Shui Feng to understand the general knowledge of this world. As for the high-level game that Su Qingyan mentioned, she was not prepared to teach. Lu Shan International, a high-end apartment with an elevator. It was his first time going to someone else's house, so Lin Feng was a little nervous. I won't be staying with my family, right? Lin Feng thought as he directly knocked on the door. The moment Yin Xin opened the door, her hormones began to soar. The temperature of the entire room seemed to have increased by quite a bit. Her long silver hair was specially decorated with two cat ears. Her delicate face was slightly flushed. The tight white sleeveless chiffon shirt vividly showed off the E-grade evil tattoo on the front. It was swaying and on the verge of collapse. It was the kind that could be swayed for a long time with a pat. The bottom was only slightly transparent white silk. The main thing was that it was very prominent and had a guiding pattern. Lin Feng could not take his eyes off it. Pound. You're finally here. Everything is ready. Yin Xin was a little shy as she led Lin Feng into the bedroom. There was a mesmerizing fragrance. The bedroom was specially decorated to be very romantic. Lin Feng's blood vessels surged. Thus, the curtains of a sports competition were drawn. However, this was really a football game, the kind that could only be played by a man and a woman. Lin Feng made the first move and directly blocked Yin Xin's attacking route. Yin Xin dribbled the ball and hit him. You dribbled the ball and hit someone. Your action is very obvious. It's a foul. Then how should I punish you? Yin Xin's voice was charming and moving. Then I'll punish you by dribbling the ball three times. Okay, then I'm coming. Hiss. The moment Yin Xin dribbled the ball past him, Lin Feng's pores all over his body became hot. Why are you offside again? You're standing too far back. Did he break the rules again? Yes, the ball just now doesn't count. Change your dribbling. Use my ball this time. Yin Xin dribbled the ball and lost it. Lin Feng took back the ball. Lin Feng retracted his hand and touched the ball. He was whistled for handball. Then, he dribbled the ball past him and weaved back and forth. Finally, he broke through the goal. However, because he used too much force when he shot the ball, he was injured and bleeding. The situation in the first half was very intense. Although Lin Feng dribbled the ball to the goal many times and his leg went in, the ball did not go in. In the end, he did not manage to shoot the ball. Men should be like the Ivory Coast players. They should not shoot the ball for 60 minutes. Once they did, they should shoot twice. However, the situation in the second half escalated. Lin Feng seemed to have mastered the essence of the game. It was as if he had entered the realm of no one. After a successful shot, he changed to another goal and continued to break through. The summer sun shone brightly, and the lake rippled with waves. The flowers bloomed, and the spring was strong. Smiles bloomed, and laughter filled the air. When the two of them woke up, it was already late in the morning. The two of them looked at each other and smiled. Their eyes were full, and the waves reached their temples. Their hair was combed low, and the half moon reached their shoulders. The two of them decided to review the results of last night's practice. Yin Xin's expression changed, and her voice trembled. Lin Feng, on the other hand, was riding with the wind and rain, quickly riding down the hills in his heart. He was confident that he had lived for 200 years, and he would be able to hit the water 3,000 miles away. Are you going to sign the contract today or tomorrow? This time, Lin Feng got on the train first. But I just submitted the application yesterday. It should take another day or two, right? Yin Xin asked with a hoarse voice. I don't need to wait for the application to be approved. I was given the highest privilege yesterday. This privilege was indeed very considerate. After Lin Feng's bonus, he was very energetic. However, a person only had 24 hours a day. He still had to do what he had to do. After all, he couldn't just enjoy power and do practical things like 0070. As the plan was confirmed, Lin Feng didn't just need battle-type people. 
he was also prepared to find some support and management type people to assist him. Really? Then let's go now. Yin Shin was a little shocked. She was about to get up and put on her clothes. Ah. The moment Yin Shin stood up, she realized that she had the will but lacked the strength to do so. I can't walk. Then, I'll carry you there. Then, forget it. No, there are so many people. It's so embarrassing. Yin Shin wanted to go, but she was afraid that others would see her embarrassment. You should rest today. You can sign the contract tomorrow. Lin Feng didn't force her. He had an appointment with Qin Shiru and Millie today. Signing three contracts in a day might be a little too high profile. Hey, are you still coming tonight? Yin Shin thought for a while and asked. You rest first, or you can come with us. Will they accept me if I go? As far as I know, they're both S and SS class. Quote. Yin Shin was a little timid. She didn't think she was bad in other aspects. However, she still had to admit the difference between S class and A class. Don't worry about that. Each of you has your own strengths and characteristics. Okay, then wait for me to finish the medicine. Yin Shin was ecstatic. Lin Feng's words were an affirmation of her talent and characteristics. Lin Feng left Lu Shan International and went straight to Warrior Girl. Because of Su Qingwan's message, Mecha No One had been dragged back. He planned to study the data and the specific operating principles first. At the same time, he also wanted to determine if there were any safety hazards in the system and the chip. If he was suitable, he would be a good match for Flying Blade as the door god of the base. This would save him a lot of trouble. At the very least, he wouldn't have to deal with magical beasts below the warlord level. Another purpose was to study how the mech could transform between a battleship and a mech. It seemed to be able to help Yi Xian and Shifeng improve further. When Lin Feng arrived, the Century Center was already packed with people. The military, maintenance, and police were all present. Lin Feng was a little confused. Perhaps it was because he had been living in fear for a long time, but when he heard that the commander of the Sea Conqueror had achieved such a great victory, he was shocked. And this was the result of taking the initiative to attack. Everyone was abnormally excited. However, there were also some people who didn't pay attention to the military. Is this giant mecha the mysterious mecha from Junhai City? Of course not. I've seen that mysterious mech before. And didn't you read the news this morning? This is Mecha No One that was defeated by the Storm Goddess. Quote. A young girl was holding a tablet in her hand. She liked to write and draw directly on the tablet. Therefore, she wasn't used to using a virtual screen. This person was Xiao Shun's daughter, Xiao Yuheng, a strict data stream researcher. She was also a small researcher. She had a small oval face and a pretty face. She was a very bright girl. Although she was wearing the simplest t-shirt and jeans, she still attracted a lot of attention. What about the other giant white mecha? A little girl asked weakly. Xiao Yuheng opened an analysis software that she had written and said, Do you see this? The storm goddess mecha. Quote. Number 2 on the Junhai City Combat Power Ranking. Hearing about the ranking, everyone gathered around. Why is there no data for number 1 on the ranking? That's the mysterious mecha. It's a very special mecha. It hasn't appeared since the battle five years ago, Xiao Yuheng continued. Wow, didn't you see that the commanders from number two to number four on the mecha combat power ranking are all Lin Feng? What's going on? I don't know. There's a lot of hidden information. But I know that he's only a one-star commander. But he's already ranked first on the Junhai City's commander ranking. Not only is he ranked first, but he's only awakened a few days ago. I really don't know how he did it. I heard that he was the one who resolved the recent crises and was given the title of Fire Country's Guardian. Look, Jinjin, isn't that Lin Feng? Wow. He's young and promising. Quote. Xiao Yuheng raised her head and her eyes flashed. It's really him. Without any hesitation, she rushed forward. Lin Feng didn't expect that it would be so difficult to enter his store. Later, he had to ask and Lan and Millie to come out and fetch him before he could enter quickly. After tidying up his messy hair, he was about to enter the maintenance room. Behind him, a clear and melodious voice shouted. Lin Feng, Lin Feng. The voice was so loud that it felt like a crane in a flock of chickens amidst the cheers. Lin Feng heard the voice and turned around. He was curious why the girl's voice was so loud. The woman was Xiao Yuheng. 
She waved her wrist with all her might so that Lin Feng would be the first to see her. Lin Feng asked and Lan to ask about the situation and with Lin Feng's permission, and Lan brought the girl in. Have you always been so loud? Lin Feng looked at her curiously. Of course not. It's a little gadget I made. It's a directional megaphone. It can increase the efficiency of sound transmission by changing the height. Although I don't understand, it sounds very powerful. Oh right, why are you looking for me? Quote. Can I take a closer look at the destroyed number one mech? Xiao Yuheng looked at Lin Feng expectantly. As if her eyes could speak, she was praying for Lin Feng's permission. And Lan, check her identity. If there's no big problem, come in. After saying that, Lin Feng asked someone to pull the giant mech into the maintenance hall. Xiao Yuheng, who had passed the verification, rushed in eagerly. Take a look if you want to. Lin Feng had a feeling that this girl was not simple. Do you mind if I use the equipment? Xiao Yuheng asked. Lin Feng thought for a while and asked and Lan, what's her identity? There's no problem with her identity. 1.6 Principle of Black Firmament, Xiao Shun's daughter. Hearing that she was Xiao Shun's daughter, Lin Feng couldn't help but take a few more glances. It seemed that Xiao Shun wasn't exaggerating that day. She was indeed good looking. She also looked very capable. As you wish. Lin Feng was also curious about what Xiao Yuheng wanted to do. Xiao Yuheng couldn't hide her excitement. She put down her backpack and took out a notebook. Then, she took out two 20 centimeters square pillars. After connecting them, the two pillars stood on both sides of the mech. Then, they transformed into a robot with a door frame. A screen appeared and started to scan the giant mech. The secret binary code on the computer started to jump. Everyone was stunned when they saw this scene. Even Lin Feng was surprised. Are all high school students like this now? I don't believe you if you say this is a high school student. Junhai City, Warrior Girl. Xiao Yuheng operated for a while, and the database of mech number one was completed. She even upgraded it into a model of a mech. Clicking on any part of the model could synchronize the data in the database. The various attributes and descriptions of the parts appeared on the screen. Lin Feng found it unbelievable and started the system to scan it again. There was not much error in the data. He exclaimed in his heart, this is almost as good as my pixel eyes. However, for ordinary people, this was indeed very convenient. She was indeed the daughter of a researcher. Her talent and strength were probably better than many university teachers. No wonder Xiao Shun had such high standards and praised her. This software was good whether it was installed in the maintenance system or the manufacturing center. One scan could analyze the main components and materials. Of course, this was only for materials that were already recorded on the Blue Planet. If there was no data, it would not be able to analyze it. Only Lin Feng's system could do that. Lin Feng saw that Xiao Yuheng had finished the analysis and asked, how is it? What's the conclusion? Quote, this mech is different from the previous ones that were powered by bioenergy. Previously, it didn't matter if it was the aberration mech or the mech beast. The previous ones all relied on the biological energy provided by the biological body, Ten was also the version that the Blue Planet people learned at the beginning. Quote. This mech has no life and is a second generation independent mech. It is directly powered by a controllable nuclear fusion reactor, combined with a kinetic energy core, chips, and various systems. The only flaw is that the kinetic energy is not sustainable. It is not like the commander that can continuously convert and provide energy. Xiao Yuheng explained while clicking on the model. Well, what do I need to pay attention to if I want to use it? Chips, fire control system, avionics system, recommended replacement. Especially the chips, they may be hacked or controlled remotely. Well, not bad. Have you studied missiles, energy cubes, and the like? Xiao Yuheng directly opened the database and the model. You mean these? Lin Feng looked carefully and was shocked. This girl could not miss out on such a treasure. Well, are you willing to follow me? Xiao Yuheng was surprised. After hearing about it from her parents, she was very interested in Lin Feng. Now that she was directly invited, she was even more overjoyed. However, she still asked tentatively. If my awakening level is very low, will you be willing to contract me? After all, contracting a good commander had always been the most important thing for all machine girls. 
She was very satisfied with her IQ, but she was also afraid that she would awaken a very bad talent. Of course, even if Lin Feng did not agree, she would still choose to follow him. Sure, we'll form a contract after you awaken. Lin Feng naturally wouldn't refuse such a request. In any case, the news of him contracting multiple machines had already spread like wildfire, so contracting one more would not cause him any loss. Moreover, she was so elegant, and her IQ and R&D were all on the line. Most importantly, Lin Feng now knew that he had no contract limit, unlike other commanders who could only contract one person each. He didn't have to worry about missing out on a better machine. But a high school student returning to prison. In theory, it was too harsh. According to Xiao Shun, he had just turned 18 years old, which meant that he supported him. This was a feasible plan. Moreover, the commander-in-chief was helping him find a machine lady. Lin Feng's marriage could be considered an imperial edict. Thank you. Xiao Yuheng's peach blossom eyes curved into beautiful crescents. She was already extremely excited. All right, there's an urgent matter that requires your assistance and your equipment. This matter was indeed urgent. It was related to an important plan of Lin Feng's. Xiao Yuheng was also a little excited. She had always been passionate about this. Now, she was even directly given a lot of trust by her idol. All right, wait a moment, I'll inform my dad. We can set off at any time. Do you have a device that enhances sound and reduces noise? Yes, this can reduce the vibration of the surrounding medium. As she spoke, she had already taken out a ball-shaped object from her bag and started explaining. Lin Feng accepted it very gratefully. He curiously looked at the other practical tools in his bag and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. This was a huge gain. However, Xiao Yuheng said that this was just the tip of the iceberg. She was really a research genius. Not only did he obtain a treasure girl, but he also obtained 10 treasure chests. The kind that could be continuously updated. Not to mention how high the technological content was, it was really practical. Time is tight. Now, you and Jian Wei will go to the manufacturing factory and meet up with the Wanderer. Unlock the data of the mechanical abyss together and prioritize the analysis of the desire stone and the mental Rubik's Cube. The wilderness Wanderer had already been repaired by Lin Feng, so the probability of the machine lady dying was still relatively small. Most of the time, he just needed to change some parts. This was also why there were so few commanders in this world. It was because commanders were more likely to die in battle. The wilderness wanderer was the machine lady who was captured five years ago. However, Lin Feng was still a little worried, so she was currently in a forceful state. She was very familiar with the operating system of the City of Desire and urgently needed her help to complete the data decryption. According to the analysis results just now and the system upgrade reward he received, at least the ship lady's side had a rough idea. Lin Feng handed the repair plan to Qin Shiru and Bo Lan, so he didn't have to worry about the rest. He wanted to start building his own missile base and start moving the base into Zhengzhou Mountain Port. Other than that, he had to consider the upgrade of the Wandering Immortal and the Snow Wind. However, before that, there was still one more thing to do. Shiru, I'll go and take over the construction team first. We'll go and sign the contract at 6 in the evening. Once the contract is done, we'll go home directly. Qin Shiru understood what Lin Feng was implying. Her eyebrows trembled a little, and her eyes unconsciously narrowed a little. Women always like to gossip. She had already understood Lin Feng's combat strength and tactics from Su Qingyan. At the same time, she also understood Lin Feng's preferences. Okay. Got it. Qin Shiru's voice was as soft as a mosquito's. However, there was a kind of joy in her heart. She had finally found a perfect commander. Moreover, she already knew Lin Feng's plan to take back the military port. His powerful innate talent could finally shine. She turned her head and began to contact Millie. Millie, sign the contract at 6 in the evening. Millie's excited voice instantly came from the other side. Qin Shiru hesitated for a moment, but still decided to bear it alone tonight. After all, this was the most important day for her. Millie, that, can we not do it together tonight? After all, it's the first time, I. Millie also knew Qin Shiru's personality, so she didn't insist. Looking at Qin Shiru's shy look, Bo Lan's cold face also bloomed with some expectations. 
Sister and Lan, I, this is what Lin Feng told me. I didn't. Bo Lan wasn't angry. It's okay. I'm not the kind of girl who cares about these things. Also, you guys fought for it first. If you want to blame someone, you can only blame my cold personality. At that time, I didn't express my intentions at the first moment. Quote. Hearing Bo Lan's words, Chin Shiru's psychological pressure lessened a lot. She held in Lan's hand and said. It's okay. One or two days won't make a difference. It'll be your turn soon. Okay. At that time, I can still ask you guys for some experience. After the two finished speaking, they began to study the repair plan that Lin Feng gave them. Junhai City, Pearl Institute. Lin Feng brought Su Qingwan and her sister to school. He was ready to see the engineering team that Xiao Shun and Lu Gang had gathered. After the introduction of the machine lady, the primitive high-energy construction machines in this world had gradually been eliminated. The machine lady used biological energy and had decent combat strength. Most importantly, as the territory continued to shrink, energy was scarce, and there were not many places for construction vehicles to be used. Who would want to develop buildings when their survival was threatened? However, it was different for Lin Feng. This was just the beginning, and there would only be more and more construction. There were many experienced car drivers in society, but a new car was still more attractive. The key was that university life was good. Therefore, Lin Feng directly asked Su Qingwan and her sister to contact the two universities. As soon as Lin Feng arrived, he instantly caused a sensation. Although the ranking list had been suppressed, it could no longer be suppressed. When the ranking list was released, the entire city was shocked. Now that Lin Feng was famous, he was a hostile commander. They could only avoid him. This was also in line with Lin Feng's wishes. His goal was to cross the galaxy, and he did not have the time and energy to compete with these university commanders. He did not want another clown like Sun Kai. As Lin Feng's mecha combat strength continued to rise, the reputation of Pearl Institute and Black Firmament also rose. This was because the machine lady of their school was also rising in the national ranking list. The ranking list would have the school she belonged to or graduated from. As the principal, this was the greatest honor. Moreover, they all knew that this was deliberately suppressed by half. After all, with such a strong commander, it was not that they did not want to be targeted. On the other hand, the girls were almost fanatical, and they were all thinking about how to recommend themselves. Even the guards of Xingyao Manor had piled up self-recommendation letters with photos and all kinds of detailed information. Company CEO, I'm willing to be a maid to take care of trivial matters for the commander. B-grade charming electric lady, she's beautiful and has a sweet voice. She's remarkable. The two sides of the road where the three of them passed were filled with people. Some were shouting, while others were discussing intensely. There were also some people who were fantasizing about how they could get close to Lin Feng. The strongest commander in Junhai City. If I can get close to him, my life will be perfect. Forget it. Don't you know what kind of background he has? School bell, S-grade talent, or even 5S-grade talent. Quote. I just want a temporary contract. At the very least, I can experience the life of a war concubine for a few days. I don't think a temporary contract would even make the cut. I wonder if he has a habit of using maids. Lin Feng went straight to the lecture hall. Seeing Lin Feng appear, the test dance immediately walked over. I just heard that you've met Yu Heng. How was it? I didn't lie to you, right? She just arrived today and insisted on going to take a look. I couldn't stop her. Yes, I've met her. I've inherited the talent of your research. I've already promised her that it won't be a very formal confession. Xiao Shun was relieved after hearing Lin Feng's words. Don't worry. With Yu Heng's talent, she will definitely awaken a good talent. When Liu Gang heard this, he felt a burst of envy. It was as if he wished he could have a beautiful woman as well. All right, let's get down to business first. According to Su Qingwan's request, I want four brand new engineering cars that are B-grade and above. Their looks also meet your standards. Then, four beautiful women walked up to the stage. Liu Gang was not to be outdone. Hee hee, I got more than you again this time. Most importantly, I found an S-grade shield tunneling machine among the graduates. Speaking of this, Liu Gang was extremely proud. 
Under Liu Gang's signal, six beautiful women with good figures walked up to the stage. Lin Feng glanced at the stage. They were all wearing stockings and short skirts, and had long legs. The women on the stage seemed to be a little unaccustomed to this kind of scene. They felt a little strange and a little reserved. However, their eyes were filled with passion. After all, they all knew that the person on stage was the strongest commander in Junhai City. He was also the most talented commander. Even if they could not get close to each other, it would be great if they could get close to each other. How is it? Do you like any of them? They had already talked about it. They could accept a temporary contract or a maid. Xiao Shun looked at Lin Feng's wandering eyes and thought that Lin Feng did not like any of them. Well, I'm not choosing a concubine. I'm just looking for an engineering team. In fact, Lin Feng was just using the system to check everyone's information. Two excavators, two bulldozers, a heavy truck, a loader, a tunneling machine, a road roller, and a crane. These were all A-grade. One of the beautiful blonde women was an S-grade shield tunneling machine. She had blonde hair and starry eyes, and she looked like the girl next door. She made people feel comfortable and very approachable. Xiao Shun did not look like a researcher at all. He said casually. We know. But when it comes to men, I was young once too. Quote. Lin Feng's worldview almost collapsed. He really wanted to ask, how did you become the principal and the chief researcher of Junhai City? But before he could react, Lu Gang also said faintly. Xiao Shun is right. Whether a man is lustful or not has nothing to do with his character. Lin Feng could only say that he was still too young. Thank you for your efforts. Stay. I'm quite satisfied. Hearing Lin Feng's statement, the two of them and the people on the stage were surprised. But Lin Feng's original intention was to recruit an engineering team with a certain level of fighter jets. After all, working in the forbidden area was still possible for them to be attacked by magical beasts. Of course, it would be best if they had good looks and a good figure. These top 10 talents were also very rare and met the system's requirements. After all, each school only had one or two A grade and above students every year. Now it seemed that Su Qingyan and Su Qingwan's standards were quite high. Okay, they'll be your royal engineering team from now on. They don't have to participate in classes and don't have to worry about credits. Okay, time is tight. Let's go to work immediately. Lin Feng was also hesitating. At this moment, the women on the stage were just short of celebrating. They were getting familiar with each other. The school still has some outstanding A-grade students. Do you want me to organize them for you? On one hand, Lu Gang and Xiao Shun hoped that more of their school's names would be on the list. On the other hand, they hoped that Junhai City would have more powerful fighters. They were all people who had experienced the war five years ago and knew how important a powerful mech was. Lin Feng's newly awakened mech lady was far stronger than those mech ladies from five years ago. Cough, after the base is built, we might still need some more people. After saying that, Lin Feng quickly left. If he stayed any longer, he would probably not be able to do anything anymore. Although A grade was definitely considered a very good talent. However, since he did not need it now, he could study in school for a few more days. It was always good to learn more. Lin Feng directly pulled the engineering team to the frontline command center. After knowing Lin Feng's plan, the military and the military all cooperated. Everyone gathered and waited for orders. First, he had to open a safe passage that could cross the forbidden area quickly. Then, other than the guards and patrolling troops, everyone else was involved in the project. The main goal was efficiency. However, Lin Feng purposely made it so high profile this time to let the people from the mechanical abyss see him. Then, Lin Feng sent the most important engineering team into the project. With Su Yunpeng and Su Qingwan in charge of safety, Lin Feng was very assured. After the arrangements were made on the surface, Lin Feng brought the shield tunneling machine and tunneling machine to a basement. Shield tunneling machines and tunneling machines were essential for underground work, especially the S-grade shield tunneling machine. Junhai City, 107 Mechanical Abyss. The Alliance's meeting was once again passively started. At this moment, the three of them had ferocious expressions, but no one spoke. Lin Yuan's neck was so swollen that it looked like it was about to explode. His head was covered in sweat. 
His lips were full of foam, and his fists were pounding on the table. One could guess how many of his subordinates had died in his hands before coming here. Pound. At this moment, Arak also suddenly hammered the table. The anger that he had been suppressing all day and night erupted like a volcano. He gritted his teeth, and his eyes flashed with uncontrollable anger. He was like an enraged lion. After coming to Blue Planet for so many years, I have never suffered such a big loss. The Blue Planet people are just low-dimensional creatures, how dare they do this? Bang. Bang. He directly smashed the cup on the table. Monet was already heartbroken from losing the first giant mech. Seeing Erosi's actions, he was instantly furious. He immediately glared, and his eyes turned red. His eyebrows stood up one by one, and veins popped out on his face as he roared at the two of them. Why are you venting your anger on me after losing the battle? Who will take responsibility for my losses? Do you know how much effort I spent on a giant transformation mech? Quote. How did you promise me yesterday? Seeing Monet's appearance, Arak felt that he had indeed lost his composure. After all, whether it was now or before. 287. Monet was always the strongest. In fact, because the pressure was too small, he even sent many powerful mechs and high-level magical beasts to support other places. Lin Yuan was instantly discouraged by Monet's roar, and he could only say fiercely. After all, Monet had always been his superior, and his strength was not on the same level as him. He had been previously arrogant, and there was no time for him to beg him. That guy's combat strength is indeed beyond my expectations. I don't know how long he has been planning, but now he suddenly attacked. Lin Yuan thought so. He would never believe that Lin Feng had suddenly appeared. What's even more infuriating is, do you know what he is doing? Brazenly building a road in the forbidden area. On top of our territory. How can you tolerate this? Monet. Monet was still angry. He didn't want to be fooled by the two of them again. He only said indifferently, stop, the outer area is your territory. You can't possibly not have a way, right? Barak also said, my losses yesterday were also very severe. Not only did I lose a capable general of the Star Domain, but I also lost all the sea beasts that I had accumulated. Lin Yuan felt even more pained. He had almost pressed all of his missiles, but Tiz was still at the Lion Tiger Cannon position. Locke, why don't you lend me some of your polymerized mecha? I'll stake everything I have and take over Junhai City. When the time comes, I'll share half of the energy with you. Barak was the actual participant of yesterday's battle. He definitely wanted revenge, but he wasn't as impulsive as Lin Yuan. It's not that we can't do that, but we have to discuss the future first. Now that we can't even complete the quota, how are we going to play if we fail? Let's finish it together. Quote. Monet, why don't you recall the Lord level demonic beasts and first generation high star level mechas? The moment Monet heard that mecha number one was killed, he already knew that the opponent this time wasn't simple. He already had a plan in mind. Okay, I'll recall the Lord level and three commander level demonic beasts. The giant mecha still has five pieces left. I'll cover it. This time, you guys can do whatever you want. Your polymerized mecha, other than its size, has a comprehensive performance that's comparable to my giant mecha. Okay, with you covering it, we'll definitely get our revenge. We'll go make careful preparations now. This time, we can't act rashly. At this time, Lin Feng and the two machine ladies were still digging not far from the manufacturing center. The shock-absorbing silencer magic box that Xiao Yuhang had given them was indeed pretty good. With such a huge commotion, no one outside could hear anything. But at this time, something happened to Ning Chushui. She directly turned from a shield-tunneling machine into a body of flesh and blood. Her pretty face was completely pale. Are you okay? Lin Feng went forward to help Ning Chushui up. Looking at Ning Chushui's appearance and thinking about the huge shield tunneling machine, he knew something was wrong. Is it overloaded? Yan Yan, the tunneling machine beside him, also turned back into a human and came over to take a look. It's probably because she used too much energy and collapsed. The shield tunneling machine's power is too high. She won't be able to last long with her own energy. Maybe she didn't want to disappoint you, so. Yeah, I was too anxious. Lin Feng took a bottle of Parisian water and fed Ning Chushui some. Ning Chushui's originally rosy lips were a little dry. 
After a few minutes, Ning Chushui slowly propped herself up. I'm sorry, I'm useless. Don't say that. I didn't consider everything. You really work too hard. If you can't hold on, take a rest first. It's okay. Lin Feng took out some energy food and gave them some. Take a rest first. I'll check the progress. Lin Feng took out the drone that he had taken from Xiao Yuheng and scanned it. The blueprint appeared on the screen. Looking at Lin Feng's gloomy face, Ning Chushui, who had rested for a while, turned back into a shield tunneling machine. Don't, if you overdraw again, there won't be a way tomorrow. Lin Feng stopped her with some heartache. Lin Feng wouldn't do something like draining the pond to fish. It's okay, I can do it. I'm much better now. Ning Chushui insisted, and there was already the sound of pushing. Chushui, are you willing to contract with me? Lin Feng thought for a while and said. Can, can I? Chu Shui was a little surprised and a little overwhelmed. Yeah, but you have to wait for a few days. Let's wait for this plan to succeed first. It should be stable for a while. Okay, that's great. At this moment, Ning Chu Shui's heart was blooming with joy. Lin Feng turned around and said to Ning Chu Shui, your energy is not enough to support it now. For the sake of progress, I need to force you to log in now. Ning Chu Shui was stunned at first. Although she didn't understand, she directly agreed, okay. Lin Feng directly forced her to log in. The shield tunneling machine obviously trembled a little. It seemed to be a little uncomfortable being suddenly invaded. After logging in, Ning Chushui could connect to her energy interface. Ning Chushui felt like she was wrapped in a huge amount of energy. Her whole body felt comfortable, except for some rejection. She thought to herself, too much. Is this the powerful energy of an SSS level commander? Let's start now. With the support of Lin Feng's energy, the speed of digging was much faster. After digging for two hours with full strength, the progress had already exceeded the limit. Lin Feng looked at the time. It was already 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay, today's progress has already exceeded the limit. Go back and have a good rest. We'll continue tomorrow morning. Ning Chushui turned back into her human form. Her snow-like face was dyed with a hint of red, and there were also some small beads of sweat on her forehead. Being forced to log in with a huge amount of energy made her body feel a little uncomfortable and rejected. After all, the two of them didn't go through an official contract ceremony. Their nervous system and sensory system hadn't been tested and connected. It was equivalent to entering directly without any prior experience. There would definitely be some discomfort. Lin Feng hid the digging trace as well. He went to Warrior Girl, called Chin Chiru and Millie, and went straight to the contract hall. Junhai City, contract hall. Guanya looked at Lin Feng, who had brought two computer girls with him. She felt like her CPU was smoking. More importantly, she couldn't have any opinions. He even asked her to work overtime. More importantly, the leader said that he could handle it directly without asking any questions. How could it be like this? Guanya was even more confused. She cleared her throat and asked, Lin Feng, tell me, how many contract slots did the higher-ups give you? Guanya was afraid that Lin Feng would hear the hidden meaning in her words, so she pretended to be nonchalant. Then she added another sentence. You're all commanders, so why are you so outstanding? Especially when she knew that Lin Feng was number one on the leaderboard, she was even more moved. How many? How should I put it? It depends on my mood. Lin Feng said casually with a hint of ridicule. Guanya was stunned. What kind of background did he have to be so awesome? Depends on my mood. Then when you're in a good mood, you can take me with you. Guanya lowered her head slightly. That won't do. I like to see your resentful eyes. Lin Feng said with a smile. Let's go. I shouldn't have waited here for you. Quote. Guanya knew that Lin Feng was teasing her on purpose, so she gave him the registration information. She told him to quickly go in for the contract ceremony. Look at you, you're anxious. Chin Chiru and M.I. Lee smiled from behind and followed Lin Feng in. Chin Chiru was thinking. So Lin Feng, who was cold and unruly in battle, was actually quite interesting in private. It shouldn't be so boring at night, right? Chin Chiru was absent-minded the whole afternoon. She was thinking about how to give Lin Feng a better experience at night so that it wouldn't be so boring. She was a person who paid more attention to rituals, especially when it came to her most important night. Now it seemed that she was worrying too much. 
The only thing she should be worried about was her body. It shouldn't be a problem for the two of us to do it together, right? Lin Feng asked the staff inside. Although I haven't tried it before, it shouldn't be a problem. Brother, you're really envious of us. As he said that, he asked an assistant to take out the backup equipment. The contract ceremony began. Ding. Successfully contracted S-grade Millie, armed helicopter. All attributes of energy cores increased by 20%. Commander's attributes increased by 5 points. Ding. Successfully contracted SS-grade Chinchuru, nuclear submarine. All attributes of all energy cores increased by 100%. Commander's attributes increased by 25 points. This time, Lin Feng felt it extremely obvious, the sudden surge of energy shook his mind. He looked at his personal attributes. Strength, 71, Endurance, 68, Spirit, 63, Agility, 61, Defense, 66. One point of strength was about 10 pounds, and 700 pounds was 317.52 kilograms. He was sure that if he was given a pair of gloves with sufficient protection, he could punch through a wall. Although his defense had increased, the strength of his muscles and bones were still very weak. However, it couldn't hide the fact that he was still immortal. He would still bleed if he hit the wall directly. This time, the upgrade of the energy core was also very timely. It made up for the recent lack of energy. It also provided an important guarantee for tomorrow's battle. After all, giant mechs and unconventional weapons consumed a lot of energy. In addition to the previous bonus, it was a total of 560%. Energy storage limit, 1680 MJ, energy conversion capacity, 56 mega joules per hour, current energy, 980 mega joules. He watched as Lin Feng walked out of the contract hall with two women in his arms. Many commanders outside were envious, hating that the person in the middle was not themselves. Not to mention that he had two women in his arms, the key was that both of them were top beauties. They were the center of attention wherever they went. Now, they were all owned by Lin Feng alone. At this moment, Millie directly transformed into an armed helicopter. The sound of the propellers spread out, and the violent wind whistled. It's actually an armed helicopter, why is the difference between people so big? Didn't you read the message? That's Lin Feng, the guardian of the fire country. He's a height you can't look up to. Quote. Yeah, wake up, he's a man you can never compare to. He's become stronger again. The helicopter flew directly to Xingyao Manor. Millie found an opportunity to say. Hubby, I have a mission tonight, how about we do it tomorrow night? Mission. I'll just give old Chin a call. Quote. Hee hee, today's mission was arranged by little sister Sheru. Chin Sheru's face flushed red. She lowered her head and slightly shook Lin Feng's arm. Her soft and gentle voice had a hint of coquettishness. Hubby, let Sheru accompany you tonight. After all, it's my first time, after that you can play however you want. Okay. That voice made Lin Feng's entire body go limp. He did not expect that the usually intelligent and gentle Chin Sheru would have a shy and coquettish side after contracting. Okay. Then we'll talk about it in the future, but this voice buff might increase my attack speed by quite a bit. Zero. Okay, I'm ready. Lin Feng directly carried Chin Chiru in a princess carry. It was indeed different when there was a good family, everything was ready when they came back. You guys go take a bath first, the clothes are here. Su Qingyan handed the clothes over. Chin Chiru was wearing a white silk tight chansam. Light blue flowers were embroidered on it, accentuating the perfect curves of her body. She was originally an outstanding beauty, her features were picturesque, and her skin was as white as jade. After coming out of the bath, she was even more beautiful. Under the Changsam, there was a hint of gentleness in her luxurious beauty. There was a hint of elegance in her beauty. She walked over gracefully, with a slim waist and jade-like butt, Swaying gracefully, every frown and smile of hers was extremely charming. So tonight's theme is Chinese. Lin Feng slowly approached. Chin Chiru could feel the strong male hormones surging. Her starry eyes were half closed, a little nervous, but also a little expectant. Gulp. She swallowed unconsciously and slowly closed her eyes. Holding each other's wrists, she shyly turned off the light with a smile. The golden needle pierced the stamen of the peach blossom, not daring to make a sound and frowning secretly. 
The pong gate opens for you, a pear tree suppresses the begonia. The sound of falling flowers was very soft, like snowflakes quietly falling on the snow field, like a stream silently flowing under the stone steps. The morning light was faint and the sky was slightly white. A ray of morning light came in through a gap in the curtains. Lin Feng looked at Qin Shiru, who had just fallen asleep. Her quiet appearance was very lovable, so he didn't disturb her. He didn't even touch her messy hair. He was afraid that Qin Shiru was a light sleeper. He got up, put on his clothes, and walked out of the room. The moment he opened the door, a few pairs of eyes stared at him. Especially Shifeng's innocent and innocent eyes. It was as if she had seen a great evil. Lin Feng was a bit confused until he saw Su Qingwan's expressive eyes. It could only be said that the energy of the two people who contracted yesterday was a bit ridiculous. It was fine before, but it was fine now. Suddenly, there was a lowly Shifeng who he couldn't tell her age. Lin Feng couldn't get used to it. Xi'an Er, on the other hand, was still all right. She looked like an elegant, tall, and domineering lady. However, there was disbelief in her eyes. She quickly turned her head. Lin Feng didn't expect the girls to all wake up when he woke up so early. Su Qingyan quickly said, why are you so early today? Did you not sleep well? Let's go to the room and I'll give you a massage. Quote. Lin Feng was a bit tempted by a massage early in the morning. However, today was different. I don't know when they'll attack. It's better to prepare early. Jian Wei smiled and said, don't worry. We already analyzed it last night. It won't affect your plan. Thank you. Take Xi'an Er and Shifeng to Warrior Girl. Let An Lan and Xiao Yuhang analyze the feasibility of this upgrade plan. Lin Feng sent a modification plan to Jian Wei. This matter needed to be analyzed. After all, the two ships were old and from different civilizations. Lin Feng sorted out the spoils of war from yesterday. He wanted to modify Shifeng according to 55's firepower. As for Yi Xian, Lin Feng wanted to add electromagnetic cannons and modify it into an electromagnetic cruiser. As for battleships, Lin Feng didn't consider it. After all, there was a reason why battleships left the stage of history. As for their mecha forms, Lin Feng planned to upgrade them after contracting. After all, they were a bit special. He was just looking forward to the scene when he modified Ship Girl into a giant mecha and faced the Siren's fleet. He might even be able to directly confront the Arbiter. Jian Wei smiled meaningfully. All right, let's go. N, call Millie over as well. Chin Shiru might be resting today, so let Millie fight. Chin Shiru's mecha was the deep sea phantom. Today was not her home ground, so she could take a break. Su Qingwan's eyes burned as she watched the three of them leave. Sister, let me do it. I overslept the other day. I want to make up for it today. Su Qingyan's eyes lit up. Let's go. Ah, is that okay? Su Qingwan's face turned slightly red. How about another day? I'm afraid that I won't be able to control it and delay things. Quote. Don't worry, Ning Chushui and the others are already digging. And it was only 6 in the morning. Aren't you afraid of being laughed at if you go there like this? Quote. How could Lin Feng let them down when he saw how enthusiastic they were? I really only reserved 2 hours. Let's play poker for two hours. Sure, I don't believe that the two of us can't take you down in two hours, Su Qingyan said firmly. Taking advantage of the fact that the sky was still dark, the three of them started to play Dodi. One Q. Full. Two eights. Ace. The three of them controlled the rhythm very well. They blocked when they needed to block, when they needed to defend, and when they needed to attack. Two hours was just right. At eight in the morning, they washed up and left. Jian Wei hadn't analyzed the situation yet. After all, it was a different civilization, so it wasn't that simple. Lin Feng directly went to Ning Chushui's place. That place was also the key to the plan. When he arrived, Lin Chushui was so tired that she was panting. Actually, you guys don't need to rush. We have enough time today. It's better to be prepared early. Lin Chushui continued to push forward as she spoke. She could tell that Lin Feng valued this place a lot, so she asked Su Qingwan to help her enter the parts factory early in the morning. Okay, I'll come up and help you. H. This wasn't the first time she was forced to log in, so Lin Chushui was a lot calmer. After the morning maintenance, Lin Fengxian was now full of energy and vigor. 
Three hours later, they reached the designated location. Lin Feng observed the movements on the other side and didn't seem to notice anything. The road construction team outside was still working in a high-profile manner. Okay, thank you for your hard work. You guys go back and rest. I'll contact you guys when the battle is over. Then, he drove away in the Blade Sports car. From the underground passage of the manufacturing center, he directly entered Warrior Girl. And Lan, Xiao Yuheng, and the others were doing the final analysis with the analysis results. How is it? Did Li Nan have any conflicts? In theory, it's possible, but the entire radar system, avionics system, fire control system, and control system all have to be changed. But the parts in this configuration can't be found at all now. They disappeared five years ago. Quote. Lin Feng looked at the analysis model. Okay, as long as there are no problems with the adaptability, kinetic energy, and load bearing, it's fine. I definitely have the parts, that's why I specified such an upgrade plan. Lin Feng directly took out the equipment he got from killing the Lion Tiger Cannon and Octopus Tank yesterday. Four sets of A-Class 8 unit vertical launchers. Lin Feng was going to install two sets of them on each ship. After all, this type of vertical launcher could launch anti-ship missiles, anti-air missiles, and anti-submarine missiles. Two sets of A-Class 130mm cannons. Although the anti-ship missiles were useful, the price was a bit too high. If it were not for the parts reward from killing high-level monsters, Lin Feng would not be willing to use the Seahawk model. In comparison, the cannons were much cheaper. Even if it was a saturated attack, it would not be too painful. After all, now that he had the manufacturing technology, as long as the materials and energy were in place, it would not be a big problem. Moreover, this type of cannon was powerful and fast. It had anti-air, anti-ship, and suppressive firepower. Its firing rate could reach 40 to 50 rounds per minute. The only downside was that it was too heavy. 1.3. A45T cannon. This was also what Lin Feng was worried about. Because the displacement of the two ships was not high. It was incomparable to Su Qingwan's 052. Seeing Lin Feng casually release such a big thing, Xiao Yuheng was a bit stunned. Her treasure chest was like a sparrow's nest compared to a swan's nest in front of Lin Feng. Hmm, this cannon is a bit heavy. We might have to go to the training ground to install it. But first, we have to confirm if the two girls can withstand it when the weight is released. Okay. We'll come up with a plan now. As she spoke, she started to model and analyze the equipment according to Lin Feng's plan. Then, Lin Feng directly removed the A-class electromagnetic cannon from the giant mech. Although it was a regular electromagnetic cannon, its speed and range were much higher than regular cannons. When Xiao Yuheng came up with the final plan, Lin Feng focused his attention on Millie. Millie was now in machine mode. Her mech was a little special. It was made of Kevlar and Milky Way carbon fiber. The silhouette of the mech was not as three-dimensional as the hard material, but it was very tight. It perfectly displayed Millie's hot body. Of course, it was also more flexible. After connecting the power source, Millie turned into her mech form. The mech form was still mainly red, with black as a supplement. It was just that the material had become a planetary-grade titanium alloy that was resistant to heat and cold. It was a small integrated mech. Lin Feng glanced at Millie's mech form. Name. Millie. Form. Human. Carrier. Armed helicopter. Machine girl. Flame dance. Battle princess. Mech. Black flame mech. Overall rating. S. Applicable energy. Fuel. Electricity. Kinetic energy core. Guardian. 150T. 1000T. Mech material. Planetary grade titanium alloy. High temperature and cold resistance. Weapons, B-grade Patrol Hunter Heavy Machine Gun, A-grade Stellar Storm Shoulder Cannon, B-grade Missile Launcher, A-grade Annihilation, Magnetic Core Axe. Type, Integrated Special Warfare. Special Skill, Fire Radiation Illusion, creates several spinning mirrors to surround the enemy, forcing the enemy to attack the illusion in the mirror. When the mirror is broken, it releases the energy absorbed by the compassionate nucleus, causing area damage. Personality. Charming, passionate, bold. Overall combat strength. 9800. As expected of an integrated mech. Lin Feng was very satisfied. The Black Flame mech's overall performance was very strong. 
it basically had no shortcomings. In the mech form, there were light weapon mounts on both arms and shoulder mounts that could carry heavy weapons. The most important thing was that it was equipped with annihilation. The magnetic core axe not only had a strong penetrative ability, it also caused the electronic components on the mech to lose their effectiveness. At the same time, it could absorb energy from the opponent and release a magnetic storm, causing group dizziness and splash damage. Lin Feng directly drove to the training ground to test it. It was very smooth in all aspects. As for its shortcomings, he needed to find it in actual combat. Currently, he could feel that its speed was definitely much slower than the blade mech and the phantom mech. In addition, it did not have the ability to fly, but its resistance to heat and cold was at planetary grade. After the test, Lin Feng finished upgrading Snow Wind and Yi Xian. Okay, get ready to go. Lin Feng looked at the time. Lin Feng instructed everyone to follow the plan and arrive at their designated positions. Meanwhile, Lin Feng stayed in the manufacturing center to observe the other party's movements. She also chatted with Millie. However, as they chatted, Millie, who had been smiling like a flower, began to tear up. What happened? Millie blinked her eyes and said with a smile, it's nothing. I was just excited and suddenly remembered the battle five years ago. I've waited for five years, and now I can finally become a mech. I have a chance to avenge my father. Quote. Your father. Five years ago, I died in battle with my mother, at that time, I hadn't awakened my womanhood. At this point, Millie's tears fell again. Only then did Lin Feng realize that Millie's enthusiasm and cheerfulness every day was to cover up the loneliness and hatred in her heart. He didn't say anything. He just wiped away her tears and pulled her into his arms. He hoped to use his chest to make her feel more at ease. Thank you for being willing to form a contract with me. At that time, I mustered up a lot of courage to approach you, but I could only shrink back. Because I think an SSS grade commander should belong to an SS grade aircraft carrier or an SSS grade spacecraft carrier. I'm glad you can contract so many of them. Millie opened her mouth and said a lot. After listening to Lin Feng, she knew how tragic the war five years ago was. It was a huge battle, or rather, a decisive battle. The creatures of the chaotic star field swept across the blue planet. Many teams from Murica and Cherry Blossom switched sides. The Blue Planet had no choice but to use humanity's strongest weapon. A destructive nuclear explosion swallowed many creatures, and in the end, both sides suffered heavy casualties. The top commander mechs of the Fire Country were basically sacrificed or had to retire due to serious injuries. The civilians were spared because they hid in the underground city. The Fire Country's naval forces were basically destroyed, and their equipment and ammunition were also exhausted. Because of the black technology, the steel beasts, and the rebel blue planet people, the mechanical abyss rose quickly. The blue planet people were once again in a passive position. At this point, Maple couldn't help but feel ashamed for the people of the blue planet. It wasn't just the endless 730 infighting. They even defected to the enemy to protect themselves. Combined with what she you said before, an even greater disaster seemed to be coming again. But this time, Lin Feng would not let it happen. Lin Yuan, don't worry, it won't be long. Lin Feng said casually, but Millie could feel his surging power. In a trance, both of their hearts were beating rapidly. Millie kissed him passionately, so passionately that time seemed to stop. An hour later, there was finally movement from the mechanical abyss. On the upgraded satellite image, Lin Feng could see that the 108 mechanical abyss was filled with magical beasts. The sonar radar image next to him was full of red dots, including the creatures of the chaotic star field. Are they preparing to attack? Yes, they only attacked after throwing out the bait for so long. It seems that the 108 mechanical abyss is already at the end of its rope. Looking at the large number of enemies, Lin Feng was still calm. Everything was still under control. Junhai City, 107 mechanical abyss. While Lin Feng was analyzing the power of the mechanical abyss, Lin Yuan and Arak were also observing Lin Feng's deployment. Arak lost yesterday and suffered heavy losses. This time, he became extremely cautious and did not let go of any details. Lin Yuan was a little impatient. Hurry up and send troops. I even deployed the low-level citizens of the star field. Five years ago, the people of our star field didn't even appear personally. 
A group of steel beasts was dealt with. I've really lost all my face. Of course, this was also why there were many life forms in the chaotic star field left behind in the battle five years ago. It could be seen that Lin Yuan was really angry this time. Barak was still watching to ensure that everything was under control. I've already observed. Combined with the information provided by Wei Xian, all their forces are already in our calculations. Including the giant mechanical suit from yesterday, I've also discovered it, along with the destroyer and cruiser at the port yesterday. Lin Yuan looked like he had a card up his sleeve. Wait, the bladed machine is protecting the engineering team. Where's the phantom mechanical suit? Barak was a little confused. Over here. There seem to be three new cannons over there. There's nothing to be afraid of. We'll take them out at the start. Okay, I'll leave those five polymeric beasts to you. Don't lose them. They're as precious as your five-star aberration machine. Their combat power is even comparable to a commander level. Quote. Don't worry, there's a saying on Blue Planet, burning the boats, yes, that's what it means. After getting five polymeric beasts, Lin Yuan's confidence increased greatly. He went all out this time. Including the remaining thousands of steel beasts from before. He also bet the hundreds of aberration machines that he had always regarded as treasures. Remember, once the five-star mechanical suits in their city appear, you'll directly lead people to attack their base city. Lin Yuan said one last sentence. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on them. Lin Yuan had expended too much energy recently. This time, he had no choice but to bet most of Desire City's combat power. He even brought five polymeric beasts with him. He thought that victory was in his hands. Lin Feng had never seen Lin Yuan in person before. However, he already had a rough understanding of the characteristics of the creatures in the mechanical abyss that day. Coupled with the detailed information obtained from the Wanderer, he already had a basic understanding of Desire City's combat power. The only thing he didn't know was the strength of the collective magic beasts. After all, he had only heard about it from the Wilderness Wanderers. Yu Heng, are there any problems with the range and effectiveness of the radar jamming system? Lin Feng asked. Don't worry, this is under the guidance of my father. In addition, we have already done some special treatment in the tunnel. Xiao Yuheng said confidently. She had never thought that she would have to experience such a great battle as soon as she arrived, and her heart was somewhat moved. He saw the demonic beasts rushing towards the construction team. Jian Wei, fire. Jian Wei's temporary shore-based missile position had a few eagle-type missiles heading straight for Lin Yuan's location. Seeing this, Lin Yuan smiled contemptuously. Do you really think I'll be at a disadvantage? I don't have any long-range missiles, but that doesn't mean Iraq doesn't have any either. Then, he saw a dozen griffins hiding behind the edge of the abyss. A missile launcher suddenly appeared on his back. Several anti-aircraft missiles began to intercept. Three were intercepted and two hit. However, the agglomerate magic beast didn't seem to be affected much, and it began to fight again. Is that all you've got? It's my turn. Then, Lin Yuan also fired a few sword god guided missiles at the phantom mech. Lin Feng saw the opportunity and pressed the button. The phantom mech appeared next to Lin Feng with a phantom assault. In fact, the shore based missile base was just a disguise. It only displayed three cannon parts that they had seized previously. Ching Yun, destroy the griffins, position. The launcher was hidden in the magic beast steel armor, and the radar couldn't identify it. However, the moment the missile was fired, the position of the barrel was exposed. The vertical silos on the Chengdu, Snow Wind, and Yi Xian had already locked onto them. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The eagle-type missiles that were twice the size of the griffins, cannons shot up. After rising into the air, they turned vertically and moved along the ground. Lin Yuan hurriedly ordered the interception. Why are there so many? Lin Yuan couldn't believe it. He thought that Lin Feng had used up most of the long-range missiles yesterday. That was why he chose to engage in close combat. After all, the Griffins didn't have special anti-aircraft cannons. They couldn't intercept so many missiles. He never thought that Lin Feng would suddenly install a few sets of vertical silos. In his impression, the parts had already disappeared along with the Griffin's position. He also didn't think that when Lin Feng went to the City of Desire that day, 
not only did he take away the desire stone, but he also took away hundreds of eagle-type missiles. In his eyes, that was simply impossible. It was impossible without the system, but it was too easy with the system space. Lin Feng was waiting for the other party's counterattack. He waited for a minute, but there was no response. That's it. Ching Wan, aim the main cannon at the low-level magic beasts in front. Saturate them. The three cannons began to fire crazily. Bang bang bang. The cannons roared, and smoke filled the air, covering the sky. The air was filled with the corpses of class 1 magic beasts. The points in the system increased crazily, and occasionally, all kinds of equipment would drop. The cannons formed a blockade, and the low-level magic beasts couldn't charge through at all. Occasionally, they would charge through some warrior or one or two warrior-level magic beasts. They were directly killed by the bladed mechanical armor that had been waiting at the side. Lin Yuan saw that there was no hope of advancing. Helplessly, he could only change the direction of his initial attack and focus his anger on the port in the distance. He ordered the aberration machine and the mechanical armor to start attacking the sea. The aberration machine in normal magic beasts also had long-range weapons, but the range was limited. It wasn't as far as missiles. In addition, the firepower wouldn't be too big. After all, it was a conventional weapon, and the recoil was very strong. Normal magic beasts and small mechas couldn't withstand it at all. Therefore, he could only try his best to close the distance. Just as he changed direction, less than a kilometer in, Lin Feng contacted Su Yunpeng and started attacking. The 15,155 mm light cannons that Lin Feng gave Su Yunpeng that day had all been installed. He also gave him more than 900 Sword God Precision Guided Missiles. If they were poor, they would use tactics, and if they were rich, they would bombard the ground with missiles. If it was a normal day, Su Yunpeng wouldn't have done this. But Lin Feng said that if this battle was successful, he could achieve the freedom of the missiles. He didn't believe the words of others, but he would definitely believe Lin Feng's words. At this time, Lin Yuan was already a little confused. After fighting for so long, even if Fire Country had a few missiles, they would only use them as a last resort. How is that possible? When did they have so many missiles? Could it be that they have resumed production? That was impossible. Didn't Wei Xian say that the core technology and researchers had disappeared five years ago? Lin Yuan fell into self-doubt and denial. Under the isolation of the mechanical armor, Lin Yuan could still hear the deafening sound of cannons. He was a little panicked now and couldn't sit still. He directly brought the polymeric beast and the high star aberration machine to Su Qing's side. Lin Feng smiled. The show has begun. Let's go, it's our turn. Lin Feng piloted the red flame mechanical armor and walked towards the tunnel. Xiao Yuheng boarded the phantom mechanical armor, and the wilderness wanderer followed behind. All the previous high profile deployments were just to lure the edge abyss out. The bombardment was also to delay enough time. Lin Feng and the others had already entered the underground tunnel from the manufacturing center to Desire City. The Red Flame mech carried the A-class Stellar Storm and the heavy cannon on its shoulder and fired from a distance. A huge missile with a dazzling red tail burst out. Boom. With the violent explosion, the last remaining obstacle in the tunnel was blasted open. Under the accurate scanning and calculation of Xiao Yuheng's drone, Lin Feng found the most suitable tunnel. After entering Desire City, the three mechs were pushed to the limit. The red flame mech took out the fiery red annihilation, which looked a little scary. The one meter long battle axe seemed to want to swallow everything around it. The violent energy within it made it very useful to use. It was not much different from what Lin Feng expected. There were not many combat units left in Desire City. Most of them were researchers or ordinary people. Apart from the basic guards, the stronger ones were piled up in the main battlefield. The phantom mech opened the path in front, the laser cannon in its left hand and the flowing light sword in its right hand. If they encountered a strong opponent, they would be stunned by a pulse. Then they were greeted by the cold axe. The moment the annihilation cut open the opponent's body, they could feel the magnetic core axe crazily absorbing the mech's energy. If they encountered a weak Jian Wei, they would be killed by the laser cannon. At the same time, the Red Flame Mech's Patrol Hunter heavy machine gun was crazily spewing out flames. 
In addition to the fast firing rate and strong firepower, the Patrol Hunter heavy machine gun was also connected to the biological bone recognition system of Su Yan's mech. It could automatically analyze and lock onto the opponent's weakest point. Lin Feng's main target was the aliens emitting green light, because he could not control these people in the future. The periphery was very smooth until they entered the core area and encountered a Chaos Star field mech flashing with blue light. Detected multiple mechs higher level than your mech, attributes increased by 300%. Multiple. Lin Feng did not doubt the system's warning at all, knowing that there were still people hiding around. Jian Wei, be careful. This way. Jian Wei used a pulse backhand, but it was not very effective. The subsequent laser cannon could not penetrate the special mech. Jian Wei hurriedly shouted, be careful, they are immune to pulses. As soon as she finished speaking, several blue mechs had already taken out their submachine guns and aimed at the phantom mech. Dodge. Hearing Lin Feng's voice, Jian Wei hurriedly used phantom assault to escape. Radiation illusion. Then, an illusion mirror made of radiation appeared and surrounded the five blue light mechs and began to spin wildly, making the five blue light mechs' scalps tingle. The five blue light mechs couldn't care less and began to attack the mirror in a frenzy. Boom. Magnetism. Violent energy swept out from the center. All kinds of energy that the magnetic core battle axe had absorbed before gushed out. Crackling sounds rang out, forming a surging energy field. The five blue light mechs within it seemed to have been attacked by lightning and fire at the same time. The five blue light mechs were severely affected by the magnetic storm energy field. Crackling sounds of damage could be heard from the outside of the mechs. Try this again. Lin Feng activated the annihilation energy button. The magnetic resonance force gushed out again. An increase of three times one's attributes was not something to be trifled with. With a chop of the axe, a crack appeared on the mech. Sizzling sounds began to ring out, and they quickly sputtered onto the surrounding blue mechs, forming a chain reaction. It's indeed quite hard. Lin Feng turned on the biometric system and scanned it. I found the best angle to break through. The blue light mech that was still in chaos didn't have any reaction and was directly beheaded. Killed blue rank chaotic star field life form. Obtained S class wisdom Rubik's Cube X2, A class micronuclear submachine gun X2. Lin Feng raised his axe and cut down the remaining four blue light mechs in the same way as before. They also dropped the same equipment. The mechs retreated, revealing flesh and blood, but the blue blood looked more abstract. Lin Feng didn't care what the Rubik's Cube was used for now. Anyway, S-Class wouldn't be bad. At least it was better than the Rubik's Cube dropped by the green rank. After some delay, they sped up. After all, the City of Desire was an underground city that took decades to build. The area was relatively large. Lin Feng estimated that it was more than 100 square kilometers. They traveled at full speed for a few minutes. Lin Feng and the others came to the mech installation area. Millie, guard outside. Everyone else, according to the analysis data, start working. The three experts in this field began to work separately. The three of them participated in the analysis, but Wanderer had been here before and was more familiar with it. The construction of all the Stones of Desire's environment was handed over to Wanderer. Xiao Yu Heng was responsible for connecting and debugging various systems, and then preparing for the biological and neural systems. Jian Wei was in charge of restarting the converter. The three of them busied themselves for a while and set up everything. The converter is no longer in use. The remote ignition device is damaged. It needs to be manually ignited below. However, the moment the hydrogen is ignited, it may reach a high temperature of 3000 C. No mech can withstand it. Jian Wei was suddenly a little worried. They came here specifically for this. What if it was a failure? If it's only 3000 C, I can try. Millie, who was at the door, heard the voice. Wait a moment, let me take a look first. Lin Feng analyzed the material and finally said. Okay, I'll go down with you. Don't worry, leave it to me. Although Millie knew about her special material, she didn't know the specific value. So she was still a little worried. Don't worry, I've already done it. It can withstand 3000 C. Millie couldn't believe it herself. Um. Lin Feng drove the red flame mech to the bottom of the lake. Boom. A huge amount of energy emerged. Suddenly, a violent flame appeared and directly swallowed the red flame mech. 
Success. That's great. Jian Wei patted the red flame mech's incomparably hot mech. Millie smiled. After all, I'm a red flame mech. Normal fire has no effect on me. Millie felt a sense of accomplishment. Question mark 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 question mark. Because she did something that others couldn't do. Lonely people were most afraid of being needed. The environment has been set up. The system has been adjusted. The converter is recovering, the energy is normal. The purification of the stone of desire is successful. Lin Feng didn't waste any more time and directly entered the control room. Neurons and heart of desire are being set up. Biological energy is being connected, connection is successful. The three of them advanced according to the analyzed data and the plan that they had practiced many times. Not long after, Lin Feng could feel that the person who connected to the mental Rubik's Stone of Desire had a very special power. Success. The three of them began to redo according to the previous plan. The entire Desire City's system began to gradually reset. The most important thing was the one-way field shield at the top. The field shield could block all conventional weapon attacks. One way meant that one could attack the outside, but the outside couldn't attack the inside. Although the city below the 108 abyss was very big, the hole at the top wasn't big. It only had a diameter of 200 meters. It looked full of mystery and endless emperor power. Intrusion identification system reset successful. Friend or foe identification system has been reset successfully. Question mark 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 question mark. All systems have been remade. Everything is ready. Lin Feng returned to the command room. Lin Feng directly controlled all the aberrated mechs and ordered them to stop attacking. Lin Yuan was about to exchange fire with Su Qingwan. However, he saw that the aberrated mech suddenly stopped moving. He was stunned and even his breathing became sluggish. Lin Feng checked all the systems and control units again and confirmed that the Desire City was in his hands. The only problem now was to deal with Lin Yuan and the amalgamated beasts he led. Junhai City, Ning Port. Lin Yuan was now in a dilemma. He wanted to continue attacking, but his biggest reliance, the aberrated mech, had lost its effectiveness. Especially a few four stars and more than a dozen three stars, they had completely lost control and were motionless. When the Desire Stone was lost, there were prisoners of war who escaped, but most of the combat troops could still be controlled normally. But now, he had suddenly lost all consciousness and was not moving at all. He wanted to retreat, but he was unwilling. He had killed so many of his beasts just to let the high-level Star Sector General and the Aberrated Mech get close to the target. They were within range. After hesitating for a moment, he contacted Iraq directly. There was a problem with the attack. I'm prepared to be strong. The losses may be great, but I'm very angry now. I can't care so much. Barak, who was 100 kilometers away, was stunned. You, what do you mean? Lin Yuan said directly without any tone of discussion. Send all the combat units that are preparing to attack Junhai City Base City to support, or wait to collect the corpses of your aberrated beasts. You, what are you doing? Aren't you confident of winning? I've been observing, but I haven't seen any high star mechs come out of the city. Barak was a little surprised. Who the hell knows where the other side got so many missiles? Why don't you try being bombed for half an hour? Lin Yuan was now in a difficult position. He had never been so aggrieved. Barak was stunned. If Lin Yuan bombed someone else for half an hour, he would believe it. After all, the City of Desire had a special military center. He also had special S-grade equipment that was used to analyze and make various weapons and missiles. Without getting a response from Lin Yuan, he guessed that Lin Yuan might have already rushed forward. He quickly turned the lurking troops around and returned to the outer military department of Junhai City. At this time, after killing all the aliens in the City of Desire, Lin Feng drove the Red Flame Mech to Ning Port. Although he had the Blade Mech and the Storm Mech, which were three times stronger. But Lin Yuan's aberrated beasts were not to be underestimated. Lin Feng explained to everyone that the aberrated mech had been controlled. Everyone was stunned. This was possible. But time was of the essence, and no one had time to ask. They turned all their attention to the beasts. Lin Feng was going to leave the aberrated mech as a tool. Mining, steelmaking, and oil extraction. 
since they had chosen to rebel, they could only undergo labor reform for the rest of their lives. Moreover, with the help of a mech, the intensity of labor would be much higher than that of an ordinary person. There will be a lot of things to build in the future, which will require a lot of energy. Of course, they could even be used as cannon fodder at critical moments. Lin Feng roughly calculated that the distance between Desire City and Ning Gang was about 20 kilometers. He had the wanderers and some of the manipulated fallen machine women stay in Desire City to observe the situation at all times. The speed of the phantom mecha was extremely fast. It flew straight towards Ning Gang. The crimson flame mecha also advanced at full speed, madly rushing towards Ning Gang. He turned on crimson flame super long distance radar and observed the enemy's distribution. The situation was better than he had imagined. There were only a few high-level demonic beasts left. Ching Wan, quickly clear out the high-level magical beasts. Leave the low-level magical beasts to the military. After you're done, approach Ning Gang. Got it. The Blade Edge Mecha switched from defense to offense and began to slaughter. She had followed Lin Feng's train of thought. All magical beasts were killed in one strike. If he couldn't deal with it with one slash, then it was time to increase his strength. Where is this? Lin Feng saw a large number of red dots appear in the middle of the forbidden area about 80 kilometers away from him. He quickly continued to click on them. According to the Wanderers, this should be the 106th Mechanical Abyss. He analyzed the opponent's movement speed. Lin Feng directly sent out nearly 500 aberrated mechas to ambush him. This should be enough time. If you come, then let's fight. If he hadn't controlled the aberrated mecha, he would have been worried. But now, he was not worried at all. After all, the opponent's trump card was already in his hands. The forbidden area around Junhai City was the scope of a province. It was divided into three areas, the outer control area, the middle area, and the core area. At this moment, Lin Feng saw the aberrated mecha suddenly move and was overjoyed. Ha ha. You scared me. I was ready to burn the boats, but you suddenly can move again. However, the aberrated mecha directly ran in the opposite direction, faster than the attack. What are you doing? The target is by the sea. Trash. Quote. What trash? All of you are trash. Lin Feng was dumbfounded, but there was nothing he could do. He could only roar helplessly. Seeing the storm goddess mecha that was about to enter the range, as well as the continuous explosions behind him. Lin Feng could only continue forward. Storm Goddess Wrath. After the upgrade, the Storm Goddess Wrath directly reached 120 meters in diameter. Its strength also increased. It swept toward Lin Feng. The green and blue grades of the mechanical abyss were directly swept into the sky. Although the damage was not fatal, it was extremely humiliating. Purple rank Lin Feng quickly activated the reverse thruster and escaped the range of the storm. The storm mecha, according to Lin Feng's instructions, was mainly to stall the opponent. With the help of the phantom mecha, it began to fight. Lin Feng saw the star field citizens flying in the sky and felt an unprecedented humiliation. He felt that his high dimensional life form was being provoked. He moved forward one kilometer with difficulty and reached the best shooting distance. He could not wait to use his strongest weapon, S grade antimatter floating cannon. The antimatter floating cannon was extremely powerful and had extremely high penetration. Ordinary mechas could not withstand its attack at all. Lin Feng pulled away and smiled coldly. It's time to end this. Lin Yuan sneered. He picked up the floating cannon and began to lock onto the storm's head. The storm mech received a high energy warning. It quickly activated its shield and quickly adjusted its position. However, the danger level was still high and the warning continued. I think I've been locked onto. Hearing this, the phantom mech launched three consecutive phantom attacks and prepared to close in. However, it was blocked by two 20-meter tall polymerized beasts. At the critical moment, the blade mech in its top speed state used, red fury sky raising slash, to meet Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan felt the huge flame energy in the distance and could only give up and quickly dodge. Fire suppression, trash. The blue rank lifeforms that had just landed quickly took out their 337 core submachine guns to attack. The blade mech and the phantom mech had extremely strong speed and flying advantages, plus three times the attributes buff, so they could deal with it. However, it was still difficult to kill them directly. 
they took the opportunity to kill the green rank lifeforms while disrupting them. They didn't have special weapons, so it was difficult to deal with the blue rank lifeforms. The defense of the blue rank lifeforms was comparable to a five-star mech. Without special weapons, it was difficult to break through their defense. Lin Yuan didn't seem to have given up. He still treated the storm mech as his primary target. He believed that Lin Feng was in the storm mech. His hatred for Lin Feng was like a torrential river. He let all the polymerized beasts and chaotic star field lifeforms block the phantom mech and the blade mech. The polymerized beasts and star field lifeforms all focused their attention and long-range weapons on the phantom mech and the blade mech. He watched as the storm goddess mech rapidly approached. Lin Yuan's face under the mech was extremely gloomy. Let's see how you're going to run now. Lin Yuan focused and began to lock onto the storm goddess mech again. Little flying axe is coming. The armed helicopter in the air transformed into the red flame mech. Kai Li roared softly. After the analysis of the red flame mech's biological skeleton system, the energy-filled annihilation accurately hit the back of Lin Yuan's head where his defense was the weakest. The characteristic of annihilation was that the more energy it absorbed, the stronger the damage. It had absorbed five blue rank lifeforms before, so its energy was very abundant. In addition to the 300% bonus of the red flame mech and the weapon's special effects. Annihilation directly entered Lin Yuan's brain. Lin Yuan's brain instantly exploded, and debris flew everywhere. Lin Yuan's entire body was also thrown forward by the impact. The Crimson Flame mech relied on its inertia and steering propellers to perform a true somersault in the air. Then he took back the axe. Clang! The heavy mech landed on the ground, raising a cloud of dust several meters high. The stability of the Crimson Flame mech was very good. Under the protection of the buffering reverse thrusters and the sudden release of buffer fluid, the Crimson Flame mech was very stable. Lin Feng withstood the impact of the landing. However, there was still a slight concussion in his brain. However, when he saw the system's reward, the dizziness instantly disappeared. Purple rank life form killed. Acquired S rank magic cube of intellect X2, S rank antimatter floating cannon X2, S rank stellar level technology parser X1. This reward is, too luxurious. All of them are S rank. Quote. Lin Feng was overjoyed. Why didn't the parser double the output? Lin Feng was a little confused and couldn't help but take a look. S-Class Stellar Level Technology Analyzer, able to analyze the material elements, structural principles, and core technologies of all components in the universe. I was wondering why the Mechanical Abyss could replicate so many advanced missiles. So it's because of this. Lin Feng sighed. Looks like this isn't considered a component, but it's much better than a component. This meant that as long as he had the corresponding materials in the future, he could directly create many very good components. However, this was a long road. After all, many of the materials were not available on the Blue Planet. Now, it was more than enough to create some missiles and conventional weapons. At this time, a high energy warning came from the system. Hubby, are you okay? There's an aggregated beast in front. It's at the commander level. Quote. Seeing that Lin Feng did not move, Millie was a little nervous. I'm fine. Send me to the storm mech first. The aggregated beast was huge and extremely strong. The best way to deal with it was definitely the Storm Goddess Mech, which had the highest overall combat strength. He switched to the Storm Goddess Mech. Millie, use your special skills to deal with the blue rank alien life form. Millie had seen Lin Feng's live demonstration before. With special weapons and special skills, it was not difficult to deal with it. Ching Yun, Jian Wei, leave the aggregated beast to me. You two go deal with the alien life form. Ching Yun and Jian Wei quickly dodged. They left the main battlefield to Lin Feng. Lin Feng piloted the storm mech and quickly approached the aggregated beast. He looked at the remaining energy. There was still enough energy to support four beam cannons. The aggregated beast was very tall in the eyes of small mechas, but it was only below the knees of the storm goddess mech. However, as a commander, its defense and attack were very strong. No matter how strong it was, its weight was limited. It could not withstand the storm goddess mech's strength. Lin Feng picked up one aggregated beast in each hand. It was as if he was picking up two chickens. He threw it into the air. Commander level. 
Let me see if your defense can withstand three times the energy of the beam cannons. Quote. The war was coming to an end. Lin Feng decided to take out his most lethal weapon. He wanted to quickly reduce the enemy's numbers. At this time, the beam cannons were ready. He moved strategically and found the right angle. A huge beam of light shot out of the huge cannon barrel. Three times the energy directly penetrated the aggregated beast that was just in the line. It's still too weak. The beam of light directly penetrated two aggregated beasts. How about a pair of eagles? On the other side. Barak, who was in a hurry, saw a message from Lin Yuan. His face instantly turned pale. That was because it was a short message containing all of 108's research results. This was something that their alliance had agreed to automatically share when they died. At that time, they were still wondering why the headquarters set such a ridiculous rule. They did not expect it to happen in Junhai City. A mechanical abyss overlord died. Lin Yuan is dead. How? How is that possible? Barak was in disbelief. A high-dimensional life form of the Red Stage actually died just like that. He could not help but break out in cold sweat, but he was still unwilling to believe that this was the truth. However, the news of the two magical beasts losing contact came again. He was finally sure. Two died at the same time. What era is this? Has the five-star mecha appeared? The more Iraq thought about it, the more afraid he became. He directly took over the control of the three magical beasts and gave the order to run. Without a commander, the combat power of the magical beasts would be greatly reduced. Want to run? You're too late. Quote. Lin Feng smiled faintly. Millie, keep them. The red flame mecha had just killed many people from the blue stage chaotic star field. There was sufficient energy in annihilation. He directly hit the magical beasts with a flying axe. It did not seem painful, but as the powerful magnetic core energy burst out. Crackling sounds could be heard from the huge steel mecha. Then, it quickly splattered. It was not easy to kill it, but it was enough to delay it for a while. After all, the speed of the storm mecha was much slower than the small mecha. After all, too much weight would seriously affect its speed. Lin Feng seemed to have found a trick. He directly let the three magical beasts rise into the air together. Like shooting an arrow, the beam cannon shot out again. Only two of them were pierced. Looks like it needs to be strengthened. Quote. He saw that the last one still had some vitality. However, its defense had already been broken and it was on the verge of death. Millie, I'll leave it to you. Gather the energy of annihilation for emergencies. On the other side, Barak was completely stunned. Another three died, and the time interval is so short. What kind of mecha appeared? The legendary mysterious mecha appeared. Or, Barak thought of all the possibilities he could think of. But he still couldn't figure out what had happened on the battlefield. He only knew that no matter what, he could not act rashly. He recalled all the troops that he had sent out. He immediately reported the situation to the mechanical abyss headquarters in the fire country and began to request for reinforcements. Lin Feng smiled when he saw the red dot moving wildly on the radar screen. The people from the mechanical abyss don't seem to be stupid. Lin Feng didn't plan to chase after him either. After all, he was far away, and he didn't know his exact strength. The mechanical abyss in the center of the forbidden area was definitely stronger than the 108 abyss in the periphery. Most importantly, he didn't have much energy left. I should go back and replenish my supplies. Lin Feng said, I'll leave it to you guys to clean up the battlefield. I'm going back to rest. Today's harvest was absolutely bountiful. The battle on the army's side had gone completely crazy. At that time, when he saw so many enemies, some of the new recruits who had never seen such a big battle before were so scared that their legs went soft. But now that he heard the news of victory, he couldn't come back to his senses for a long time. However, they still didn't know what the greatest result was. Lin Feng had taken down Desire City. That huge underground city that Lin Yuan had painstakingly developed for decades. Millie, what are you waiting for? Quote. Ah. Seeing Lin Feng's fiery eyes, she remembered what she said yesterday. She turned into a helicopter and flew toward Xingyao Manor with excitement and anticipation. Although the new city was huge, nothing was prepared yet. It was not as practical as having everything in the manor. Dry wood burning with fire. The fiery Millie didn't hesitate at all. 
She took a shower and changed her clothes. She was wearing a burgundy off-shoulder tight fitting skirt that accentuated her hot figure to the extreme. Her hair was messy and still a little wet, and then there was her elegant neck that was fair and translucent, and her shoulders that were as smooth as jade. Her exquisite and enchanting collarbone, her soft and smooth jade-like narrow back, and her delicate and large peaks were stacked upon each other. Her fair and slender arms, her slender waist, and her well-defined and flat abdomen. Her swaying hips and long legs that were full of vitality formed an incomparably enchanting curve. Millie, I heard that you've practiced judo before. Why don't I give you some sparring tonight? So let's fight one on one first. Chin Chiru lost terribly last night. Ah. Millie was confused. Without giving Millie a chance to react, a sparring match officially began. System notification. You've challenged Flame Dance fighter Millie to a one on one. Millie has accepted. Quote. You've activated Phantom Assault. You've activated Warrior Skill, Armor Break. Millie retaliated. Millie has also activated, armor break. Quote. You've activated, grappling hug. Millie needs to go through a difficulty based on her physique. The final difficulty is set at 50. In the middle of the grappling hug, grappling hug failed. Millie is unable to resist your, grappling hug. Quote. You've activated, weakness strike, on Millie. Millie activated, virgin body, 577 points of immunity to your attacks. Your weakness strike has changed to willpower test. Millie's willpower test failed. Millie's morale is low. Quote. You've activated fatal stab on Millie. Millie's HP minus one. Congratulations. You've received the first hit from phantom goddess Millie. Millie has activated berserk charm on you. Your willpower test failed. You've entered berserk state. You've activated phantom stab on Millie. 2888 combo. Millie has submitted a surrender request. She requested to retain her autonomy. Quote. You've decisively rejected Millie's surrender request. You've activated Phantom Stab, on Millie, 998 combo. Millie has submitted a surrender request once again. You've cruelly rejected Millie once again. You've activated Phantom Stab, on Millie, 999 combo. You've thrown all of your Luna's flying arrows at Millie. Millie has been completely defeated. Millie's surrender request has been rejected multiple times. She's decided to change her stance to wash away her previous shame. You didn't give Millie any chance. You've activated Phantom Backstab, on Millie, 999 combo. Millie's injuries have caused her to collapse to the ground once again. However, your fighting spirit is high. You've launched another attack. Millie is terrified. She could only request to switch weapons. Your spear is still the same. Your might has not decreased. You continue to advance. The flickering light and shadow disappeared together, leaving behind a beautiful figure. Unknowingly, the sky was already brightening. Millie was indeed the captain of the security team. Her endurance was much better than normal people. Plus, she practiced judo regularly, so her muscles were very flexible. Just like the scabbard, no matter how sharp Lin Feng's sword was. They were all able to fit in with it tightly. The sun comes early in summer. Lin Feng sighed. Millie's breathing was weak. She didn't even want to move a finger. Can, can I rest now? Millie's voice had a hint of resentment and admiration. The intense battle last night made her feel like her body was falling apart. All right, you performed very well in yesterday's battle during the day and night, especially at night. You're the strongest in terms of endurance. Quote. There's no battle today. Rest well. I'll go check on the deep sea phantom in the afternoon. 17. Lin Feng got a lot of good weapons yesterday, so he wanted to test them again and increase his firepower. However, the most important thing now was to lie down and rest. Although he wasn't tired and even felt like he had endless energy and energy, he felt that he should rest. This was the least he could do to show respect tonight. He tried his best to act normal. As his attributes kept increasing, he was getting closer and closer to superhuman. Especially after he established a connection with the Desire Stone yesterday, he felt like there was some kind of energy hidden in his body. At this moment, Su Qingyan, who had already woken up, left quietly when she heard that there was no movement. He's finally asleep. Su Qingyuan, who was a little shy, asked. Su Qingyan nodded and walked to the table in shock. At this moment, Jian Wei walked out with the breakfast she had prepared. 
Should we wait for him? Jian Wei looked at the room left for Millie. He just fell asleep. Su Qingyan exclaimed. Ha! Huh. They fought for an entire night. Why did they have such a strong battle? Jian Wei was surprised. Should be, but it's definitely a home run. He seems to be getting stronger and stronger. Su Qingyan said uncertainly. Qin Shiru walked out with a yawn. She had dark circles under her eyes. Looking at Sister Shiru, I'm sure they've been fighting, Su Qingyan said confidently. Su Qingwan walked up curiously. Sis Shiru, you didn't sleep well last night, did you? Qin Shiru nodded her head. His voice is indeed a little loud, but he was clearly very gentle the night before yesterday. I didn't see him being so crazy. Although Qin Shiru was shy, she knew that everyone had experienced it before, so she still voiced out the curiosity in her heart. Su Qingyan also boldly shared some of her previous feelings. Could it be because of the desire stone? Jian Wei said after thinking for a while. Stone of desire. Su Qingwan was curious. Although she had heard about it from Jian Wei yesterday, she did not mention the details. They shared the information. At this moment, the Snow Gale and the Yi Xian also walked out. What are you guys talking about? Why is it so lively? Big Ferocious Loli asked curiously with her big eyes. They immediately stopped their discussion. Cough cough. Su Qingyan cleared her throat. Sister Jian Wei is imparting knowledge to us. Do you guys want to learn? Sure. Master Shifeng loves studying the most. Jian Wei rolled her eyes at Su Qingyan and said indifferently, come and eat. I'll bring you guys to learn about the new weapon. After Shifeng and Yi Xian used the new wave of equipment yesterday, they were stunned. It turned out that the main cannon could shoot more than 50 kilometers with a hit rate of more than 70%. Not to mention the precision-guided missiles. They even thought of going back to the Siren fleet to fight again. Therefore, they were more and more interested in this world's ship-borne weapons. Okay. Thank you, Teacher Jian Wei. Yi Xian smiled and replied politely. Shifeng unconsciously looked at the closed door. She did not want to share her battle experience with Lin Feng last night. She did not expect Lin Feng to enter the room when she came back. Brother Lin Feng seems to be a good sleeper. You sleep so early and wake up later than the machine lady. Jian Wei changed the topic and said, In this world, if a machine lady wakes up later than the commander, then she is not a qualified machine lady. After the contract, the commander is everything to the machine lady. You guys have to remember this in the future. Also, we already have the best commander. Quote. Su Qingyan said seriously, her heart filled with joy. Lin Feng's appearance in the past few days had not only given them many surprises. He had also brought many surprises to the entire Junhai city. However, after the contract, they are allowed to rest for a day. Millie will definitely not be able to get out of bed today. It was rare that they did not have any missions today. They chatted while eating breakfast. On the other side, Shanghai, the frontline command center. They were going through a test. It was their salvation before dawn. Sir, if we don't make a decision, the front line will collapse. Looking at the tragic scene outside, the commander said anxiously. No, the machines in the city are all prepared to retreat to the underground city. We can't fall at the front line, Mo Ziyuan said firmly. Just like Su Yunpeng, it was an unwritten agreement in every headquarter city. However, with the addition of the Lord level and three commander level monsters, half of our people have to go to the hospital. If this continues, I'm afraid the front line will fall soon. Mo Ziyuan also fell into a state of melancholy. The appearance of these high-level magical beasts had made the already precarious Dawn line of defense even worse. He could not help but think of his daughter. If she was not an Operation Spark, how good would it be if there was a commander who could contract her? At this moment, the commander outside shouted excitedly, they're retreating. They're retreating. Mo Ziyuan asked, what's retreating? The Lord level monsters are retreating. The person outside continued to report, the three commander level monsters are also retreating. Mo Ziyuan ran out in surprise. They're really, retreating. The Lord level monsters are all retreating, what's going on? They were clearly going to succeed, Mo Ziyuan was puzzled. Amidst their surprise, everyone thought of all the possible reasons for this to happen. Sir, I heard that these monsters are the reinforcements from the mechanical abyss in Junhai City. I heard that the young commander of Junhai City, 
Lin Feng, entered the mechanical abyss two days ago and found out some secrets. Yesterday, he actually killed the mechanical abyss leader with a machine, could it be because of this? I saw the news too, but it's not official information. I don't know if it's true. Mo Ziyuan listened to everyone's guesses and began to search for information about Lin Feng curiously. That's very likely. This time, I really have to thank him properly. Sir, I just received a notice. The Commander-in-Chief wants you to attend a secret meeting of the highest level in the Fire Country. Commander-in-Chief. Rather than being puzzled, Ziyuan was more shocked. The sun rose, Junhai City. The streets were still going on as usual. However, the situation was obviously different every day. Previously, they only saw how many magical beasts appeared. They also saw how many casualties there were in the military and the defense forces, how many defensive lines were forced to shrink, and so on. They lived in fear every day and had to rush to the underground city from time to time. However, it was completely different now. They only saw how many magical beasts they killed. Previously, they could brag about the dozens of servant class magical beasts they killed. However, if there were no soldier class or general class magical beasts, they wouldn't be able to brag about it. Everyone's mental state was much better every day. It was as if they felt more at ease after seeing Lin Feng's news. Therefore, the most exciting thing was to check the official news every morning. There was never a time when the official news was so attractive. It's out, it's out. A group of machine girls shouted excitedly. How many did he kill? Look at how many did he kill? You really should learn from those headlines. Quote. The machine girls at the side kept scrolling while complaining. I saw it, servant class 519, soldier class 21, big brother Lin Feng, mighty and domineering. Can't you be more reserved and finish reading first? The main point is that 617 are general class, okay. There are six general class beasts. Quote. The general class doesn't seem to be the main character this time. Have you heard of polymerized beasts? Their combat power is at commander class. Quote. Everyone hurriedly continued reading. It's really commander class, and it's a polymerized beast. It combines the advantages of two types of magical beasts. Even a four-star mecha might not be able to deal with it. Too bad I'm uneducated. What the f asterisk ck? Annihilating five polymerized beasts. Do you dare to believe it? Quote. I didn't believe it before, but I do now. Have you seen an alien invader before? No, right. Blue rank versus five star mecha. Dead. Quote. Mechanical source lord. Dead too. Help me, my legs are weak. Quote. Don't talk. Let me calm down. What did I see today? That man did it again. Another mecha is on the list. Crimson flame mecha. Wow, there's even a picture for Lin Feng. Fire Country's Guardian, forgive me for licking the screen. Xiao Yuheng was also browsing the news, but there was no announcement about the City of Desire yet. Maybe the military didn't know either. But she knew about it and was in a daze. Could this be the so-called, having a tiger in your heart, sniffing the roses? The ambition, the planning, the layout. This made her look forward to her awakening even more. What would she awaken into? Because Xiao Yuheng had not graduated from high school, there were still many applications to go through. Lin Feng slept until noon and ate something. He looked at the results of yesterday's battle. Hunting status. Servant level 2519. Soldier level 21. Warlord level 6. Commander level 5. Energy crystals. Servant 1038 remaining. 2426. Soldier 42. 93. Warlord 12 total. 32, Commander 10, total, 10, 1. Points, 27,980, total, 28,040. Soul Power, 25,800, total, 62,100. Killing a Commander Grade Monster gives me 2,500 points. That's not bad at all. I'll get one lucky draw out of 20 points. The accessories in the system were not bad. Many of them were advanced technology from other worlds. Now, not only could he use them, he could also analyze some of them. If he had the materials, he could create many accessories for other civilizations. Finally, there are commander grade crystals. AS grade mechanical suit required 5 commander grade crystals to upgrade to 2 stars. 
On the other hand, SS grade required monarch grade crystals. This was because the energy requirement for SS grade was much higher. Lin Feng upgraded the blade edge mechanical suit and the phantom mechanical suit. All attributes increased by 10%, and the upper limit of the kinetic energy core increased to 1100T. After the upgrade, Lin Feng asked everyone to gather at Desire City. After obtaining Desire City, a lot of order had to be rebuilt. Most importantly, they had to do it before the enemy attacked. They had to produce the urgently needed missiles and deploy the defense personnel. It wasn't easy to defend a dungeon or a piece of land. Because taking down the mechanical abyss was equivalent to taking down all the surrounding territories. After all, how could they allow the enemy to sleep peacefully next to them? This was also the first step to reclaiming the lost territory. The entire outer forbidden area would be designated as human territory. Yin Shin, who had waited for an entire day, finally received the news. She quickly ran over. One could only say that the desire stone was indeed a magical thing. Yin Shin was the first to arrive, so Lin Feng completed the contract first. It just so happened that Yin Shin's passive skill was the contract. The upper limit of energy storage and bioenergy conversion ability increased by 100%. The total increase was now 660%. Upper limit of energy storage, 1980. Energy conversion ability, 66 milliliters per hour. Current energy, 860. Yin Shin was an oil tanker. Not only did she have sufficient energy, but she also had plenty of lubricant. After awakening the guardian, she had a very special active skill. Name, Yin Shin. Form, Human, Carrier, Oil Tanker, Machine Lady, Guardian, Mechanical Suit, Galaxy Guardian. Overall Rating. A. Applicable Energy Sources. Fuel, Electricity. Kinetic Core. Guardian, 10T, 200T. Integration System. Mosey. Mechanical Suit Material. High Strength Bulletproof and Explosion Proof Alloy, High Defense. Weapon. Browning Large Caliber Heavy Machine Gun, Machine Lady. Type. Support. Special skill, rejuvenation, can increase the commander's basic energy conversion speed by 100%. Wild growth, when with the commander, the commander's current recovery ability will be doubled. Personality, seductive, passionate, pure. Lin Feng was a little tempted. The current increase was doubled. That was to say, the current 66 milliliters per hour had increased to 132 milliliters per hour. The mechanical suit was a medium-sized defensive mechanical suit. Its size was similar to Optimus Prime's. The color and shape were similar to the Machine Lady. The color was still white with yellow decorations, but the mechanical suit was much bigger. Because the load was not too strong, Lin Feng only installed a light A-grade micro-nuclear submachine gun. The Guardian mechanical suit was an auxiliary support type, so it needed to reserve enough load. It was not the main mech, so it would not directly face powerful attacks on the battlefield. After some installation and testing, the driving comfort was definitely the best. Sitting in it was like enjoying a full body massage. Super sensitive fiber, bionic seat, and biological temperature adjustment mechanism. Whether it was working or resting, it was excellent. It was much more comfortable than the cold office. After all, it was an auxiliary type mech. The main focus was comfort and enjoyment. After dealing with all this, Lin Feng contacted Su Yunpeng. He asked him to focus on advancing the infrastructure of the roads and missile base at full speed. Then, he asked Tay to prepare a motorcycle unit to go to the City of Desire. Junhai City, City of Desire. This was the biggest achievement from yesterday's battle. After all, this was the result of decades of hard work from the edge of the abyss and many so-called high-dimensional lifeforms. They had invested a lot of advanced technology and had a complete production and living facilities. Most importantly, many of the weapons manufacturing technologies were much more advanced than the current level of the fire country. In the beginning, there were two types of invasions from the chaotic star region. One was the low-level aliens. Most of them were steel monsters, which were more powerful monsters from the chaotic star region. The steel monsters were mainly used as the aliens' fighter jets. Although they were only low level, because they had powerful monsters, they quickly seized a large amount of resources and equipment. As they continued to develop, 
they began to create aberrated mechas, transforming Earth's animals into steel monsters, and at the same time, capturing Blue Planet people to transform. It was not the first time for some of them to come to City of Desire. But it was the first time for Qin Shiru and Yin Xin. Su Yunpeng and the others had never come here before. They all thought that there would only be steel monsters coming out of this place. When they heard Lin Feng say that they were here, they were confused. What was a fleet of planes doing here? However, it wasn't appropriate for him to ask, so he called Su Qingyan. He did not know if he did not ask, but when he did, he was shocked. The entire military and security team were in an uproar. Yesterday's victory had made them excited the whole night. When they heard the news in the morning, they were even more excited and had not recovered from the joy for an hour. This way, they would be able to sleep soundly for a long time. More importantly, this was an important milestone since the invasion of the outside world. After Su Yunpeng reported it, the highest center of the fire country was shaken. They asked Su Yunpeng to organize the details of the mechanical abyss and send it over as soon as possible. This was too important for the future defense layout. Junhai City also became the first city to win a counterattack. Lin Feng also became the first commander to kill the ruler of the mechanical abyss. He was immediately awarded the title of Nation Knight. If the transportation conditions allowed, the entire country's resources could be used to cultivate him. Qin Shiru and Yin Xin's eyes were also wide open as they stared blankly. They were indescribably excited. Then, as if there was wind under their feet, they walked quickly and energetically. This is City of Desire. I didn't expect the underground of the deep abyss to be so big. Quote. Qin Shiru curiously looked at the huge underground city and the endless streets. It was filled with strong futuristic technology elements. It was definitely a city of the future. Indeed, I didn't expect it. At first, I thought that this was a lair of a magical beast. I didn't expect it to be such a cutting-edge underground. Su Yunpeng sighed. This place seems to be more technologically advanced than Junhai City, and the living environment is also very good. No wonder those traitors from the Blue Planet betrayed us. Chen Fei walked around curiously and observed. Behind him was a group of women in tight black leather pants. At this time, they were also shocked and covered their mouths. If it weren't for your discipline, they would have screamed. Look at me, I was so shocked that I forgot about my business. Chen Fei pointed at a group of girls behind him who were more talented. They were beautiful and full of heroic spirit. This was carefully selected from the military, maintenance, and police. It's absolutely brand new, with high performance and good looks. 30 in total. Quote. Lin Feng had already scanned his surroundings in advance. Their aptitudes were all a grade, and their looks and figures were all very good. Millie, I'll leave this pair of people to you from now on. You'll be mainly responsible for the city's order management and regular crisis management. Millie was going to rest, but when she saw that everyone was here, she wanted to come over. She used hot water to apply on her wounds and rushed over. At this time, the wilderness wanderer Sophia came over, leading the controlled Zanji. A blonde-haired blue-eyed woman. During the war five years ago, Zanji, a researcher from the White Bear Country who supported the Fire Country, was knocked unconscious by the powerful shock wave and was later captured. Because of her identity as a researcher, she was entrusted with important tasks. When Lin Feng took over Desire City, he asked her to lead people to start cleaning up the bad guys in Desire City. Since Desire City was in his hands, it must be transformed first. He couldn't keep everyone. The people who stayed must be valuable. Sir Commander, all the people with bad identities in Desire City have been dealt with overnight. All security and order have been started according to your temporary request. All the aberrated mechs have been put into resource collection and material forging. Lin Feng looked at the surrounding situation, and it was indeed a lot cleaner now. Sophia, you'll be responsible for the production and manufacturing of materials in the future. This was the list of urgently needed materials and development direction. These were all analyzed by Lin Feng through the Stellar Level Technology Parser, which he urgently needed. Sophia had been in charge of mech design and material development before, so the progress would be faster. Then he looked at Enlan behind him. Enlan is responsible for all kinds of missiles, arrange three series of missiles first. 
Lin Feng pointed out the analyzed eagle shot, Seahawk, and Longsword on the screen. It basically covered anti-ship, anti-air, anti-submarine, and cruise missiles. And Lan had always liked to study these things, but the conditions were limited before, so he could only study some firearms and ammunition. Looking at the analyzed core technology and various blueprints, he was very happy. He held it in his hands and began to look at it excitedly. Shui Ru, you still have to play to your strengths and be responsible for mech parts research and mech design. Lin Feng had already analyzed the mental Rubik's Cube and the mental Rubik's Cube. It could be used to empower the designed mech, allowing it to be combined with living creatures. Through mental synchronization and sensory connection technology, it could be retracted or unfolded into the mech. Including the No-1 mech switch between warship and mech, it was also done through this. Lin Feng now had the ability to give Shui Feng and Yi Xian mech forms. So he wanted to study mech related first. Since he could design it himself, he had to build stronger ones after all. After all, he might have to go to the alien Azure nautical world to deal with the sirens. In addition, Lin Feng had analyzed the data from the previous database and already knew that the headquarters of the 8th East District was not on land. It was in the deep sea, and the wormhole they wanted to build was also at the bottom of the sea. So the power of the sea was extremely important. Junhai City, City of Desire. Everyone's blood boiled when they heard these deployments. Only now did Su Yunpeng know what Lin Feng meant when he said, after this battle, missiles will be free. First, a set of conventional missiles. It was enough to deal with the short-term situation. Due to the current material limitations, Dongfeng Express could only be delayed. Seeing that everyone had their own area of responsibility, Xiao Yuxing panicked. He looked at Lin Feng with his lively eyes, as if asking, what about me? What about me? Quote, Yu Heng, your task is more important. Maybe you can ask Uncle Xiao to come along. Reactor, it just so happens that City of Desire has this kind of heat-resistant material. Lin Feng took out two S-grade parts. One was the S-grade Poseidon reactor temporarily taken from Mech No. 1. 990. This Poseidon reactor could continuously draw energy from seawater. Mech No. 1 could operate independently because of this. However, there was a shortcoming. It could only be effective in the sea. It was somewhat similar to Azure Navigation's Siren Reactor. The difference was that the Siren Reactor also had the ability to self-repair the ship. After all, this Poseidon Reactor had been developed for many years and had just been developed. As for Mech No. 1 being able to switch between a warship and a mech, it was because of the Magic Cube. The other was the S-grade Dual Circuit Fission Reactor that was given by the previous system upgrade. This was a product of the Mech Warfare Civilization. The power it provided was stronger and the load was greater. There were no regional restrictions. It could be on land, sea, or even space. This was what Lin Feng was going to install on Yi Xian and Snow Wind ships. Because in their world, even after the oath, they could not use the commander's biological energy. They could only install an independent power source. This reactor was undoubtedly the most suitable. However, Lin Feng felt that it was a waste to install such a powerful part on such a small ship. Lin Feng was going to redesign the hull for Yi Xian. What would it be like to directly install a cruiser with 100,000 tons of drainage? What would it be like to install a destroyer with 200,000 tons of drainage? It was more powerful than an aircraft carrier. Since they were going to build it, they had to build the best. After all, the ship's hull was unlimited, but the ship's lady was limited. The fission reactor, together with the S-grade magic cube, could be used to load and empower the mech with consciousness. However, they only had the construction technology now. They did not have the conditions to build it. This had to wait until they took Zhou Mountain Port. Therefore, he asked Xiao Yuheng to study it first. After all, it was such a complicated thing. It was not enough to just have blueprints, principles, and material analysis. It would be best to have a sample library. It would be even better if he could figure it out. After all, there were many ship girls in the Azure nautical world. Zhou Shan Port was currently in the hands of Monet of the 107 Mechanical Abyss. Monet's main focus was to develop naval ships and giant mechas. Of course, the 107 Mechanical Abyss also had many high-grade steel beasts brought by the chaotic star field civilization. 
Jian Wei, you're in charge of debugging and upgrading all of Desire City's defensive and offensive systems. In addition, you're in charge of the research and upgrading of the mechanical and electrical systems. First, let's take a look at this force field. Field Shield is a wonderful technology. However, it was currently only used in the area around the entrance to the abyss. This was because the larger the volume of protection, the lower the ability to withstand attacks. He was able to take advantage of the loophole this time because he was confident that no one would dare to approach the mechanical abyss. Not to mention digging a tunnel. But Lin Feng couldn't risk it. He was prepared to develop a system that could cover the entire city and even apply it to mechas. Now, let's test the effect of the force field shield. Lin Feng was ready to calculate the upper limit of the force field shield. The others were also very curious about the force field shield that Lin Feng mentioned. After all, they had never heard of it before. They also followed. Lin Feng looked at the huge round hole above the square. From the outside, there was a faint red glow. From the outside, there was an extremely mysterious and powerful place. Ching Wan, launch a sea eagle. It will pass through the force field and reach the target 50 kilometers away. It transformed into a large mecha form and the missile launcher popped out. A Sea Eagle missile passed through the entrance of the Mechanical Abyss and hit the target directly. Jian Wei, turn off the identification system. Let's go outside and simulate the attack. They moved forward 20 kilometers. Ching Wan, let's use a YJ-21 this time. A huge missile launcher appeared on the back of the Storm Goddess Mecha. The huge missile shot out with a huge tail flame and smoke. A missile headed toward the entrance of the Abyss. Suddenly, smoke rose. However, the missile did not enter the mechanical abyss. Su Yunpeng was stunned. This force field shield is actually so strong. It's much stronger than a mecha's shield. The Fire Country's military knew what a YJ-21 meant. The YJ-21 speed reached 6 times the speed of sound and 10 times the speed of sound at the end. Its yield and power were even more powerful. It was known as the carrier killer. Of course, it was not cheap either. One cost tens of millions. However, such a powerful attack did not penetrate the force field shield. Lin Feng looked at the damage of the force field. It was less than 1%. Furthermore, it was constantly repairing itself. One could already imagine how difficult it was to attack from the outside. Lin Feng was very satisfied. He was also glad that he had taken the risk and attacked directly from the tunnel. If he had attacked directly, he did not know how long it would have taken. Yin Shin, your identity from now on will be my personal secretary and working secretary. Help me deal with some trivial matters. Su Qingyan and her sister will be my main mecha. After arranging the defense and production in the City of Desire, Lin Feng contacted Lu Gang and Xiao Shun again and prepared to form a team of guards to protect the core area. It just so happened that he still had a batch of magic cubes with him. Lin Feng brought Su Qingyan and Qin Shiru closer to Lanzhou Port. Firstly, he wanted to test the performance of the Deep Sea Phantom. Secondly, he wanted to investigate the situation at Zhoshan Port. He wanted to prepare for the attack that would happen soon. Junhai City, Ning Harbor. Most of the buildings had been destroyed. However, there was still energy left behind by Shifeng. Lin Feng was going to build a large-scale Sea God Reactor here after the research on the Sea God Reactor was completed. The energy requirement would increase greatly, and it would not be enough to rely on conventional energy. The conversion furnace in the City of Desire alone would consume a lot of fuel every day. At this time, he was using this place as a testing base for mecha or ships at sea. He and the Deep Sea Phantom mecha had not been tested yet. This was the first mecha that could travel in the Deep Sea, and it needed more time to adapt. Chin Chiru's data began to appear. Name, Chin Chiru. Form, Carrier Type 094 Nuclear Submarine, Machine Lady, Ocean Messenger, Mecha, Deep Sea Phantom. Overall Rating, SS. Applicable Energy, Nuclear. Kinetic Energy Core, Heart of the Ocean, 4800T, 5000T. Integrated System 10, Explorer. Mecha Material, Planet Level Anti-Reconnaissance Titanium Alloy, Hidden. Weapon, S-Grade Plasma Cannon, Mecha Form, A-Grade Compound Missile Launcher. Type. Deep Sea Long Range Attack. Special Skill. Ocean Mirror. Creates a giant energy shield that can hide the body. 
Mecha ant creatures can operate normally inside. Other creatures can see through it from the outside, and they cannot see the hidden mecha. Personality. Gentle, intelligent, elegant. This special skill is not bad. Lin Feng exclaimed. Not only could it avoid satellite radars, but it could also not be seen by the naked eye. It was like he could see others, but others could not see him. What he saw was no different from the normal ocean. The deep sea phantom was a large black mecha with a height of 82 meters. Lin Feng entered the cockpit and began to test the basic performance. The deep sea phantom's characteristics were strong long-range firepower, outstanding stealth and reconnaissance ability. Most importantly, it had the ability to fight in the deep sea. Its weakness was that its defense and close combat ability were weak. Its speed was not fast either, because the load was too high. This was also under the condition that only three missiles were loaded. If all the ammunition was included, it would probably need to be upgraded to three stars to meet the requirements of full ammunition. Fortunately, the plasma cannon was suitable for a commander like Lin Feng. It was suitable for all kinds of energy. The plasma cannon was not a conventional energy, but for Lin Feng, there was no need to install a separate energy conversion pool. After completing the basic operation, Lin Feng also changed the console to a full-dimensional holographic display. From Lin Feng's point of view, this was a must-have for medium to large mecha. Otherwise, there would be no sense of immersion in battle. Then, he installed the high-power laser-phased radar. As a long-range mech, the hit rate must be high. Finally, he installed the Ocean Satellite Virtual Imaging System and the Comprehensive Intelligent Assistance System as well. Although the Deep Sea Phantom's hardware had room for improvement, the software had to be upgraded. That's perfect. Now, let's begin the Deep Sea test. All right. Chin Shiru was also extremely excited right now. Lin Feng seemed to be able to hear the sound of her accelerated heartbeat from the cockpit. As the mech began to dive, Lin Feng felt a whole new world appear in front of him. Get used to all the underwater movements. Now, let's begin our investigation. Peace Harbor was about 50 kilometers away from Joshan Harbor. Lin Feng immediately piloted the mech to the bottom of the sea. If he wanted to test it, he had to test the limits. He turned on the special observation system. Just as Lin Feng was getting used to the deep sea vision and the pressure release reaction, he suddenly saw a warning from the intelligent assistance system. An unknown creature has appeared 5,000 meters ahead. Speed 10 knots. Combat strength unknown. Slowly approaching. Lin Feng was confused when he saw the notification. Unknown creature. Is it not from this world? It's not even from the chaotic star region. Single quote. Turn on the ocean mirror. Since the situation was unclear, he would hide first. Lin Feng opened the simulation imaging system. A creature with the appearance of a shark appeared on it. Isn't this a white shark? But isn't its size a little too scary? Quote. The data on the screen showed that it was at least 100 meters long. Lin Feng was a little surprised. He used the system to analyze its composition. Although it was an organism, it was different from the sharks in the ocean. Could it be Monet's sea monster? Let's go. Quote. Since the system could not analyze it, he would use his own system to take a look. His system included all kinds of worlds, so it should be able to analyze it. The only flaw was that he could not see it and could not analyze it. As the saying goes, what you see is what you get. The ocean mirror would increase its speed along with the mech's speed. The speed reached 50 knots, and they arrived very quickly. However, the other party did not see Lin Feng. Lin Feng saw it clearly. It was a white shark. However, it was not made of biological tissue but a steel beast. He could also see many doors that could be opened. There should be all kinds of equipment. This is a white shark-shaped submarine. Did those guys from the mechanical abyss do this too? Lin Feng was a little surprised. He started looking at the core information. Name. Klaus. Faction. Siren. Identity, a special purifier injected with the ship girl's consciousness. Origin, deep sea white shark. Technology level, latest consciousness synchronization technology test. He took a quick look at class's information. Lin Feng was a little confused because this was different from what he knew. Was this different from the settings of the game? This was slightly different from the siren fleet in the Azure Sea Root world. 
There were various guardian prefectures in the Azure Sea route that represented various factions, alliances, or countries. Donghuang, where Yi Xi'an was, was equivalent to the Fire Country. The main guardian prefectures were Donghuang, White Eagle, Royal, Northern United, Sardinia, Iris, Heavy Cherry, and Iron Blood. The Sirens were the mortal enemies of the guardian prefectures. The Sirens mainly lived in the deep sea area and often ambushed passing ship ladies on the sea route. They might even attack the guardian prefectures under the leadership of high-level Sirens. There were also different divisions and organizational structures in the Sirens camp. For example, testers, observers, purifiers, arbiters, and so on. The purifiers usually did not have a name, and there had never been a white shark-shaped submarine before. Most purifiers were of the hammerhead shark family. They were mainly black with a white belly. Once the purifiers were produced, they were completely obedient to the higher level sirens and usually acted as errand boys. However, this purifier was injected with the consciousness of a ship lady. Is this a model that the sirens used to test the characteristics of transmigration? Lin Feng gave himself a relatively reasonable guess. He was a little hesitant now. He was not sure about the strength of the two worlds, but from Shifeng's situation and the settings of the Azure Sea. He judged that he should still be able to fight. However, if he attacked now, the stealth of the ocean mirror would be broken. If he did not succeed in one attack, he might be counterattacked. The other side was also equipped with boomerangs and laser cannons. He could intercept the boomerangs, but the laser cannons were a little difficult to deal with. After storing energy, the laser would be fired in a fixed direction, causing continuous penetrating damage. Chin Shiru also asked curiously, is this a bionic submarine from the mechanical abyss? No, it should be from the same world as Yi Xi'an. Jian Wei should have told you about it. Hmm, a little, so she's also a ship lady. I guess so, but she should be the mortal enemy of Yi Xi'an. Ah, should we fight? Quote. Lin Feng was also a little hesitant. She was a siren, but she was a little special. He did not know if there was a difference between her strength and what he knew. He wanted to know how she came here. Lin Feng had asked Shifeng and Yi Xi'an before, and they both said that they were looking for the commander. Then, he really came here by accident. There was no reference to this kind of situation at all, because it was metaphysical. Then let's try it out first. His questioning tone was filled with certainty. Then let's give it a try. Chin Shiru was also eager to give it a try. This could be considered her first real battle. In order to have enough room to maneuver, Lin Feng pulled the distance to a distance of one kilometer. Then, he released a huge missile launcher. The target has been aimed. Requesting to fire. Chin Shiru said excitedly. Fire. A WAVE-2 missile broke through the waves. He brought out a string of sparkling pearls. At this moment, Crass was still strolling lazily. Chris seemed to have received a warning, but it was too late to stop him. Because the distance was too close. She was so scared that she quickly transformed into a ship girl and tried to shrink her body to avoid it. But this was a missile. How could he dodge it when it was locked on? Boom. There was a huge muffled sound. The explosion blew her ship into pieces. It's over, it's over, it's over. Looking at the shattered ship, it was as if her heart had been shattered into pieces. Hey. Hey, hey, why is the engine broken too? What kind of missile is so powerful? I'm so angry. Quote. Why can't the backup power system be turned on? How are we supposed to live? The stealth system is broken too. There's no hope now. Luckily, my beautiful hair is still here. Crass looked at her white ponytail that was about the same length as her body and patted her full chest. It's over. I can't breathe, am I going to die? Chin Shiru, who was approaching, asked with uncertainty. Did it work? It hit, but the other side seems to have dodged it. Continue forward. Her ship is broken. There should be no threat. Since the ship was broken, there was no way to materialize a ship. Lin Feng looked at the opposite side on the control panel. The life force on the other side had not disappeared. Chin Shiru also turned on the observation system. However, she saw a somewhat surprising and amusing scene. What is she doing? Is she preparing to surrender? Quote. Chin Shiru saw that Crass, who was not far away, had a piece of white cloth tied to her hand. Her snow-white slender hand was waving in the water. 
At this time, Lin Feng also saw this dramatic scene. The ship that was a hundred meters long was now so petite and cute. It looked a little cute, but her figure was very tall and her appearance was also very awesome. This guy's life is pretty tough. But why would there be a siren who surrendered? Lin Feng was a little confused. In his impression, low-level sirens should not be very intelligent. Usually, they were set to fight to the death. Commander, what should we do? Qin Shiru was a little uncertain. Lin Feng thought for a while and said. She looks quite beautiful. It's a pity to kill her. Let's bring her back and ask Yixian and the others. This kind of unique beauty is indeed very tempting. You won't do anything to the ship girl, right? There are two equally beautiful ship girls at home, but I don't see you doing anything. Quote. Ah, I haven't thought about that yet. Lin Feng facepalmed. I just think that she looks very attractive to men. After all, this only one, Zhao Qinhao, has a very seductive body in the 2D world. It's okay. We're used to it. You can be more direct. If you really want to do something to her, it's fine too. A ship girl should be similar to a machine girl, right? Quote. Qin Shiru said with a hint of ridicule. Remove all your weapons and come up. Lin Feng's cold voice sounded. The deep sea phantom stretched out its huge palm. Crass looked at the huge monster in front of her. She was a little confused. She struggled to look up at the direction of the voice with her big eyes. At this moment, she felt very small. It was as if the mech opposite her only needed to pinch her lightly to take her life. However, all her equipment was destroyed. She could not stay underwater for long. She had no other choice. She took off her clothes and showed them to Lin Feng. After showing that she did not have any weapons, she walked up to the huge palm. The deep sea phantom brought Crass to the surface. Junhai City, Ning Harbor. If you have any thoughts of attacking, I will kill you immediately. Back on the shore, Lin Feng cautiously entered the bladed mech. Although he saw that there were no weapons on the other side. He wasn't sure if there was anything special about a magical ship like the Siren. Usually, villains would use self-detonation, disintegration, body bombs, and so on. Although Lin Feng's physical fitness was strong, he was still immortal. He didn't have an invincible body. At this time, Crass was sitting on the ground, panting heavily. The great evil on her chest was moving up and down. She was wearing a sailor suit and a long skirt, but now she was only wearing black shorts. Her snow-white and slender legs were pressed together. When she heard Lin Feng's voice, she looked up pitifully. Her amber eyes were wide open, and there was slight anger and unwillingness in them. She thought it would be good to come over and play. She didn't expect to meet such a powerful Lin Feng as soon as she came out of the black hole. She was almost shot in the butt. HMPH, the weapons are all here. Look, they're all broken. How can I attack? Crass took out a Rubik's Cube and poured out the broken ship. Hearing this resentful voice, Lin Feng was a little tempted. The voice was a little blurred. It was the kind of soft, sweet, and voice that made people addicted. It was indeed a magical world. Everything was so beautiful. But Lin Feng always seemed to destroy this beauty. That's a pity. If I kill you now, will you still drop your equipment? When Crass heard this, her heart skipped a beat. She thought, what's wrong with this person? He's always thinking about dropping equipment. Quote, she knew nothing about this world and couldn't figure out Lin Feng's personality. She quickly stood up and walked around. Then she shook her clothes and patted her whole body. Look, there's really nothing left. And you saw the ship's equipment. It's all broken. If you don't believe me, you can search it. If you kill me, you'll only get this Rubik's Cube. Quote. Crass said in a panic. It was obvious that she wasn't lying. She was afraid that this strange person would really kill her in order to drop her equipment. At this moment, Su Qingwan transformed into her human form and cautiously went forward to take a closer look. After all, she was also worried that the other party had some special means. Hubby, there shouldn't be any danger. She's just an ordinary woman now. Lin Feng also walked out of the mech. Just an ordinary girl. Isn't that, Lin Feng's cold face was paired with H's mischievous smile. Crass was scared out of her wits. Um, sister, no, this big sister already said that I'm no longer a threat. Can you let me go? No, you're already our captive. You should have the awareness of a captive. Crass trembled slightly. What do you want to do to me? 
the first thing a captive has to do is to be interrogated. Of course, if they don't cooperate, then they can only be tortured. Ah. Interrogate. Quote. Torture. What if, we cooperate? If I cooperate, it should be more comfortable. But it doesn't seem to matter much if I don't cooperate. Lin Feng didn't pay attention to Clara's thoughts, nor did he care what she thought. Anyway, he could forcibly log in and break through the defense. Let's go. Take her back and let Yi Xian and Shifeng come back to interrogate her. Lin Feng got into the Blade Sports car and went straight back to Xingyao Manor. At present, the castle in the City of Desire was still being upgraded. Yi Xian and Shifeng also looked at Crass curiously. Are you really a siren's purifier? Yi Xian asked first. Crass nodded and asked curiously, are you also from dark blue? There was something familiar about this feeling. Captives have no right to ask questions. Now, you answer whatever Master Shifeng asks. What's the situation in the Blue Sea now? Most of the sea has been controlled by the Siren fleet. The Machine Lady is basically trapped in the Guardian Mansion. Yi Xian hurriedly asked, how's Dongwang? It's been blocked, but the Arbitrator wants to deal with the stronger White Eagle and the Royal Family first. Yi Xian breathed a sigh of relief. Why are you different from the other Siren purifiers? The other purifiers won't tell these secrets easily. You're not lying on purpose, are you? Quote, I was sent to perform an exploration mission. I've merged with the ship lady's consciousness, so I have an independent consciousness. Therefore, the arbitrator can't control me. Strictly speaking, I just want to take the opportunity to sneak out and have fun. I don't want to work for the sirens. Sirens, what's your purpose here? The sea in that world is basically under control. They found out that you crossed over, so they sent me to be the vanguard. You can say that I'm cannon fodder. After Yi Xian and Shifeng finished the interrogation, Lin Feng just came out of the shower. It's confirmed that she did come from the Blue Sea, and she is indeed a ship lady with an independent consciousness. And there's no equipment to communicate with the other side, but other siren fleets may still appear in this world. As Yi Xian spoke, she passed the badge information to Lin Feng. Lin Feng looked at it briefly. So she's now an ordinary woman, nothing special. Well, we've temporarily taken away her tesseract of insanity. She's no threat. Lin Feng smiled. The desire in his heart grew stronger, and his body became more honest. Crass, right. How old are you? Quote. He was a little hesitant about Yi Xian and Shifeng, but he didn't have much psychological burden in his heart when dealing with a mature prisoner of war. After all, he had experienced too many things that he didn't dare to imagine before. Crass looked at Lin Feng's eyes and subconsciously stepped back. I, I really don't know how to calculate this. I've served for more than 20 years. Well, it seems that you're old enough. Come to the room. They've interrogated her. It's my turn. Ah. Crass was a little at a loss. What? Are you waiting for me to hug you? Quote. Lin Feng gently pinched his chin and looked at Crass. No, no need. Crass struggled to walk. Shifeng pulled Yi Xian and said. It's over. The commander's animal instincts have been triggered. He's going to make a move on the ship lady. Will we? Yi Xian said very calmly, so you know what the commander does in the room every night. I suddenly know. I'm the mature Lord Shifeng. Shifeng puffed out his chest and said. Well, your body is indeed mature. Are you afraid? I'm afraid. Sister Xian Er, aren't you afraid? Quote. I, if the commander is willing to make a vow with me, it's not impossible. But the commander doesn't seem to intend to make a vow. If you want to make a vow, Sister Xian Er, you go first. Lord Shifeng isn't ready yet. Shifeng and Yi Xian's somewhat nonsensical conversation made the people in the room laugh. However, after a few days, they had figured out the character of the two ship ladies and didn't find it too strange. In the room, Lin Feng looked at the sweet-looking woman with an exaggerated figure and snow-white skin. Especially the single ponytail that tied the roots of her hair and the sailor suit, it was quite charming. I looked at the questions they asked and seemed to have forgotten the most important point. How did you transmigrate? Why did you appear at the bottom of the sea? Quote. I transmigrated from the black hole at the bottom of the sea, it was created by the high-level sirens with special power. Lin Feng smiled thoughtfully. Then I'll go and see the mysterious black hole tonight. Okay, I'll take you there now. 
Kras seemed to know what was going to happen next and was ready to take the opportunity to escape. The black hole at the bottom of the sea, we'll go tomorrow. Then, looking at the approaching Lin Fong, Kras said in a slightly begging tone, no, can't, at least it shouldn't be. Since this is a tolerant world, then let's have a great harmony of life. Lin Feng drove his nuclear submarine carrying the fire of life. He went directly to the bottom of the sea and resolutely plunged into the mysterious black hole. The nuclear submarine tried its best to go on a rampage, trying to open up the hope of life. But the huge gravity of the black hole firmly imprisoned everything. The only thing that couldn't be imprisoned was the fire. The fire of life. The fire burned and shone in the black hole, constantly attacking the final boundary. Finally, the black hole's barrier was broken, causing bright red sparks. The submarine went into another world alone. Here, mysterious, fiery, and like a real fantasy, it was familiar yet strange. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.